uh, you might as well plug these hats. You're such a jerk, dude. You know, if I see, if I'm in public and a guy goes big, and this is what he did, dude. He goes, he sees me at the Venice flea market. First of all, there's a bunch of cool people there. A lot of guys that look like fucking law man buns, Jason Momoa's. You know what I mean? Some fashionistas per uh -huh. se. I fit right in. But anyway, I didn't feel 100% at home there. You know, I felt like if somebody actually knew who I was, they would not like me because these people are woke, Danny. These people are not uh, attuned to our comedy. But yeah. this guy goes, hey, Leo, from a distance, dude, give yeah. me that like, so everybody, a bunch of heads turn. He goes, love you in the Danny Mullen videos, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, I, and I go, thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And then I go over to his booth yeah. that he has at the Venice flea market. And he goes, take a couple hats, man. Give one to Danny. And I said, absolutely, buddy. And uh, do I know if this guy, I mean, this guy, I don't know who he is, Danny. So I could be plugging a guy who's a neo-Nazi. I actually have no idea. Mm -hmm. But uh, Wet Dream Surf Club, Venice, California, 90291. I think it's a kind of a dope hat, too. I like mm -hmm. the color. Mm -hmm. Got one for you there over there, buddy. That blue one. Yeah, I saw that. I saw mm -hmm. that you posted an Instagram yeah. picture of you holding these hats yeah. which right there that's already about a thousand dollar value given your <laughs> follower count you gave it to this guy for free just because he knew your name and then number two you tagged me in it mm. that's a five thousand dollar value mm. you oh, gave this guy yeah you know yeah you're right dude you and know now you're I opening did. the show with it <laughs> you know what but buddy i thought that our egos were gone you always talk to me about ego this is a local kid from L.A., who's trying to start a business, I said, me and Danny will give you some free press because you're a fan of our work, of our art, of our art. He's a fan of our art, Danny. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's a fan of a good promotional opportunity. You were an asshole. You think That's I got, you think I got he, scammed? Wet Dream Surf Club, bro. Venice, he's got the, he's got the zip code. He, who cares? I thought it was cool. I'm basic, dude. I thought it was kind of cool to have the zip code. Check it out, bro. Todd, dude. It's like wet dreams, which is when you, when you would nocturnally admit, yeah. bro. That's how I, nocturnal, I know the scientific term, but it's also like when you dream of the waves. <laughs> That would have been a better hat if it just said nocturnal emissions. It'd be great. <laughs> nocturnal Venice, emissions California, surf club. <laughs> but I want Venice, California 90291 on it. But anyway, they uh, the guys liked our art, and I fell for it. I'm an, I, You can easily get on my good side with a compliment. I am so vain. You just said... Oh, you what, did asshole. that hurt your heart? <laughs> Me throwing that. You I'm helping a, a local kid. I'm helping a local kid. I'm helping a local kid. Yeah. I'm gonna help Unbelievable. A, I'm going to help a homeless man. I'm going to give him something to burn for his fire tonight. You know what, dude? <laughs> Those hats? Dude, you're an asshole. There was a homeless man outside, and we both didn't give him any money, dude. Let's be honest. Right yeah, before this. A homeless man came up, and he tried to sell us some jewelry. Ew. And it was... He stole it from a CVS. I've never seen what you've done before in my life, though, so I have to share it with the, crew, with the group, dude. As a, when you were homeless uh, overboard, yes. did anybody ever actually proved they didn't have cash by taking their wallet out and holding it open. I spread it like a vagina. Yeah. Well, he goes, cobwebs. Sorry, man. <laughs> no cash. Well, I liked the guy and I wanted I, him to I know I wasn't. I asked people for cash on stream. You never asked people for cash? You never panhandled? One you time, pumped? actually, one time I was hanging out with this ho homeless guy on stream and he had a, a sign that said, uh, anything helps. And he's like, can you hold this for me? I got to go to the restroom. And I held it for him. And, and the first car that came by gave me like five bucks. Oh, wow. I'm confused. This was on stream or in person? Somewhere? Yeah, yeah, both. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, what do you mean both? I was hanging out with a homeless guy while he was panhandling. And, and he, you were streaming yeah. with your phone yeah, panhandling. Yeah. Okay, so you never begged? You never degraded yourself to that level? Uh, Not uh, not IRL begging, only mm. online. Online. Sure, 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 sure. Well, you had the taste of the fame, <laughs> and then sure. you never There is no reason to do it. Is that like... No. Um, What's the comparison there? Is that like a stripper mm -hmm. looking with disdain upon hookers? It's like a Twitch girl looking at strippers in a, in a negative light. Sure. It's sure. like an OnlyFans girl looking yeah. at a stripper. Yeah. And Overboard, tell us about this. You've been sheltered for a while now. Are you still living in the, the broom closet? No, uh, we moved in with her parents uh, a couple months ago. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing, dude, and absolutely the right move. I mean, you have a <laughs> child growing somewhere, and, yes. you know, that that's what's wild it about this. Growing. But in fact... Strange word you used. Not growing, growing up, not maturing, not aging. It's growing like a fungus or a mold. I mean, yeah. Aren't In the beginning, all? they do grow a lot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
But anyway, now living with her parents, this is great. I mean, are we talking like, do you come out in a robe and hit like go to the fucking fridge, drink out of the carton and yeah. say, well, he did yell at my mom. Oh, Whoa. in the house. <laughs> Bethany, make me some French toast. <laughs> <laughs> that would be unbelievable if you started becoming the alpha of the house. I mean, obviously, the f- is, is. oh my God, are Where you are now the alpha? What? This is like the one story. Shut up, Bethany. I'll go back and fuck your daughter's ass again, bitch. This is a one story I didn't want her to say, and she's opening up right with it. Oh. I'm sorry, Daryl. Good talk already. I'm sorry, Daryl. Let's hear her. Have you at some point mentioned that you do have sex with the daughter on video for money online yep. to the parents? If not, you should bring it up at dinner. They no, they <laughs> they watched the podcast where she outed them about the whole really. So oh yeah, my god! There's no it. shame in uh-huh. our relationship uh-huh. apparently <laughs> at all. Wow, uh-huh. this is amazing, Danny. If you were overboard, yeah, pipping you out. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no problem. How would you come out to? The, how would you talk about? I it do at like the her parents table? a lot, by the way. Though they're pretty awesome. Uh, they're, really, they're chill, really cool. My dad people. gives him weed all the time. Uh, I would hope that this would be a crystal <laughs> wine glass, all and right. I would take my dessert fork. And oh I would my go, god. <laughs> Um, I propose, I propose a toast. Is this me? <laughs> yes, yeah. this is you, uh, overboard <laughs> human. Oh, I'd like you to know, and, I, and I'm sorry. What, what was your na- last name, darling? Milo. Um, uh, Miss Mr. Milo, I'd like to inform <laughs> you right now on the 23rd of January, 2023, that I I do indeed have sex with your daughter <laughs> oh, God. on a website called OnlyFans. And oh you might be thinking that this is a profitable endeavor. And to that, Mr. Milo, I say it is for me because your daughter receives not even a penny. Do you still not pay her anything? Yeah, I don't pay her anything. Well, but no, it's was, still, it goes to me. Yeah, no, I was... It all goes to me. Last time I was... I wasn't like... I was joking around kind of, but... Um, we pretty much share money, honestly. He, That's nice. If anything, it only goes I, to I me. definitely spend more on, more on her than I do myself. What do you buy her? Clothes. Just girl stuff. Literally basically. anything. Tampons. Yeah. yeah, lots of tampons. Mm-hmm. She's, Palettes. She's a heavy bleeder. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. Yeah. She you actually guys, got her period today, it's so it's, it's very insightful of you. Right. That's great. So that. she doesn't, you, you don't have the market for the pregnant porn stuff, which is a very lucrative. So you might want to think about mm-hmm. getting her pregnant. Cause yeah. Well, we if did there's do anything, a, uh, a breast pump video, actually. Okay. So oh, we have okay. a, a small share in that market. Sure. Breast pump. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, really. Yeah. Overboard Whoa. fans. Whoa, that's, I mean, Danny, you want to watch that one? <laughs> you do have a fetish for, titty, for titties. I do, I do. So the, the father, the mother, they both know that you guys have sex, probably under their roof. How is it to be yeah. back underneath the roof, Overboard Humor, and not a broom closet? It's nice. I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, the broom closet was really nice, too. It was just really rather small, mm-hmm. but it was Did it you was ever nice. get a letter telling you you were a wizard? <laughs> um, no, but I did talk to a few people that told me things that might be uh, along those lines. Uh-huh. You and are kind of a wizard in a way of the yeah. YouTube world, you know? Yeah, and I just want to remind everybody that uh, Overboard here, I, of course, did a, a long, very popular, it's almost got a million views now, mm-hmm. video with Overboard when he was homeless, and I was I stayed with him for a full weekend. It's got 800,000 views. It's on YouTube. It's mm-hmm. great. Check it out. I assume if you're watching this, you've probably seen that video, but just filling everybody in really quickly. So people told you you were a wizard in the broom closet, but now you have a house. How's that going? Well, he got his own man cave at my house. You managed to talk wow. Mr. Milo into giving you his man cave. There's a garage, yeah. <laughs> he gets and the whole garage. Put a 55-inch TV and an Xbox in there. And oh, wow. A couple pull-out couches. Wow. <laughs> it's literally uh-huh. like a whole setup. So how much time are you spending in this man cave overboard? Um, this time of month, quite a bit. Wow. What do you mean me. this time of month? Uh, well, you know, at the... At the end of ovulation, uh, when the bleeding starts happening, see you just the man cave becomes more feasible. You just oh. bang the shit out of your girlfriend without a <laughs> condom in the man cave while she's leaking blood. Oh no! Well, I don't think we've done that yet. But then I don't get it. Why are you in the man cave so much? Whenever I piss him off, he's saying oh, he yeah, goes there to, to be away from. Oh, her. Okay. yeah. Just he goes there away. when he needs a man break. You know? Because yeah. it's a natural form of birth control, Leo. I mean, that's yeah. true. I, I thought. I mean, clearly, you guys don't use condoms and stuff like that. And she's not on birth control. No. Uh, so you guys have to do that. You have to do that as well, Danny. You do that with your right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I just mm-hmm. go for it on the period. But what do you think? I, I don't know if you've heard about this, but in places like uh, Timbuktu, they will banish a woman to a hut when she's on her period. Have you thought about sending what? her to the man cave? 
I I haven't, but I I will if she comes in there when she's not supposed to. I will leave, and I'll wow. let her uh, stay there by herself. Mm-hmm. Okay, when wow. is she not supposed to? Is that when you're playing, say, she's not Gears of War? Really, or like at, at any time, really. Mm. You've so banned her from her <laughs> own household's. I mean, man it's cave. it's called the man cave. Uh-huh. Or, yeah. Do you enforce that? Or like, do you yell at her mom, Beth? I've named, <laughs> I've named her Beth. Do you scream at her when she comes in? Like, no, I actually have... Overboard, I brought you some lemonade! I, I have sleepwalking issues, or I have had sleepwalking issues since I was about 12. Uh-huh. And that's when I started, I would just wake up in the middle of the night and like run around the house screaming and stuff. Uh-huh. And um, I've even gone on trips and, and undressed myself and offered people things in the middle wow. of the night for no reason. So um, I have have PTSD probably from my dad being a cop and he used to, we used to fight a lot. And so um, I wake up sometimes screaming curse words or whatever. Uh And I kind of had like a sleepwalking episode when her mom was banging on the door too much. Oh, wow. What'd you do overboard? I don't remember too well, but she does more. I remember sure, it. sure, sure. Okay, um, what happened? Well, he was just sleeping. My mom was at the door like, hello, hello. Do you, I, what did she want us to do? I can't remember. Oh, you don't remember. Well, mm-hmm. well, he got up and he was like, shut the fuck up. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And my mom was like, whoa. And then I was like, what are you doing? And then he got up and he was like, shut the fuck up. She's trying to sleep. We're trying to sleep. Leave I us like the it. fuck alone. Oh my God. So these <laughs> were your true subconscious feelings. Though. Yeah. That's my mom cried. You know, that's if I was. Your mom uh, cried? Yes. Oh my God. This <laughs> is wild. I mean, She's think sick. about this, Danny. You're the father of, you're the father, right? And. Your daughter brings home a former homeless guy yep, with a worm tattooed on his arm, <laughs> who's gotten her into porn. Yep, and has sleepwalking freakouts. Uh huh. He's often found roaming the kitchen with a knife. Yeah, <laughs> tells Mr. Milo's wife to shut the fuck up three times. You know, this, I think what's happening here, it's a case of like reverse Stockholm syndrome because they yeah. didn't get kidnapped. They brought him in. Yeah. But now he's like screwing with their head and like they feel like they yeah. hate him, but they love him. Yeah. But he's sort of like in charge. So they, they're attracted to him. Right. Something, there's some power dynamics that yeah, work man. here that we need yeah. to look into. Right. I do believe a second part of the documentary now in this household where we interview everyone, Danny, oh would my God. be <laughs> incredible. So, this sounds great. Leo, wow. There's got to be a follow up here. There's wow. gotta be. It's gotta be at least half of a video, dude. Danny, it. it her mom it would be really funny oh on gosh, camera. Would she be and down to film? I, I like she's both crazy. their parents. I felt I super know. bad after this happened because I I didn't remember much of it. But uh-huh. yeah, like you said, that was probably my how my subconscious felt. Sure. I just wanted to be left alone and, I get and it. sleeping. Mm-hmm. Are your parents? Um, was it Alex? Is that your name? Is yeah. It, okay, I thought it was Alex. I just wanted to make sure before I pulled the trigger on Alex. That really made me uncomfortable how she paused before answering because that basically <laughs> says, Alex, my name's fucking Brenda. <laughs> like that's what, but she's Alex. Alex, are your parents swingers? No. But they did. Well, remember when I told you that my mom cheated on my dad? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if so, Leo, if, we, if he was there, would you be worried about your parents remaining faithful to each other? My mother, uh, yes. You think she would fool around with Leo? I don't think she would, but I mean, after two she's glasses a of wine, sus. Mm-hmm. after two glasses sus. of wine and a romantic uh, <laughs> maybe exchange of words, yeah. Um, do you think that she would be likely to maybe, you know, maybe share, maybe just a kiss, just a romantic? What do you think? Midnight kiss. <laughs> I'm, I'm not entertaining. I mean, she'll. <laughs> if you give her a kiss at midnight, she's going to be expecting you to tell her to shut the fuck up at some point. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how the men in her life behave. Uh, dude, I really want to see this reality show, man. I want to see the mom, like in the confessional booth, uh-huh. just talking to the camera <laughs> and saying how she really feels about Overboard. Uh-huh. And we promise her we're never going to tell him. But then we do obviously show him what she says about him at some point. That would be, uh, like, I could just see her in the confessionals, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crying. I, 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 brought, I brought over part a tray of scrambled eggs, <laughs> and he sent them back to the kitchen covered in jizz, saying, bitch, I wanted sunny side up. <laughs> Dude. It, I, I did bring abusive. a. I did wake up in the middle of the night, have a sleepwalking episode once, where I undressed myself completely and went into the kitchen and grabbed a Tupperware. <laughs> Dude, this is the it's, and, it's and, stepbrothers. It is. You didn't it's think when that Will Ferrell and John C. Riley put pillows in the fucking exactly. oven. You gotta yeah. let me finish the story. So, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> Dude, you are a nightmare. But this is awesome. And, and anyways, so I grabbed the Tupperware lid and I went into um, this room where there's a, a few girls sleeping, and I, I offered the Tupperware lid completely naked to this 
very obese um, African American lady. Oh my and god! And she she was looking at me confused, obviously, but I didn't really know what I was doing. I was asleep, and um, yeah, she she uh, she told me. She said, "Boy, what the, what you doing in here naked with a Tupperware?" <laughs> no, and I said. <laughs> Danny, Why that's, is that such a funny sentence in a black woman's voice? I don't know. Boy, we, what you doing in here naked with the Tupperware? I, I, I really think that that's unbelievable. I can't believe that really happened in real life. And she was she was kind of upset, but then she she liked what she saw kind of. And Wait, then, where is this again? She this was in Garden saw? Grove. Uh, this was like not too far from here. Was really. it the cupboard house? Was this? This was the before the documentary. It was about a week. I was okay. at this church house. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, so the... Um, Anyways, I didn't know this happened or, or whatever, and 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 then the next day she told me all about, about this whole story, and she wouldn't stop talking to me, smiling and everything. No way. She's super uh, stoked. Every now and then, uh, dude. Every now and then, on. you catch a black woman, and I I love me some black women, love them. But every now and then, you catch a black woman who just loves white dudes, and I can mm-hmm. see overboard humor being appealing <laughs> to some white because, yeah. or to some black ladies because yeah. it's. I feel like black ladies they. They will take a, a guy who's more like a surfer, stoner. Like they would love Dino. Mm-hmm. Whereas white women want a guy who's like, oh, oh, I, my, I must get to my, my Porsche and drive to my, my 1230 right, meeting. Clean cut. Like, yeah. clean, that's what, like, what white girls want. But I feel like a black chick, she'll get freaky with a guy with like an anime tattoo on his bicep. Like, oh, yeah, I think they're fetishized. They fetishize white men like we yeah. fetishize them. You've you know? seen some black women react very positively to me. Oh, my God. It's incredible. The way they're no, you have a, a dude. You have the Gavorka, as they call it in Seinfeld th- with black women. Yeah, it's the animal attraction. And uh, you would you say that of all the women you've uh, black women are the most attracted to me of all the types of women? I would say 100% black women are the most attracted to you. And I think the least might actually be Asian women, which is to your dismay. Uh, much to my dismay. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. And you, it's definitely the white women love you. White which women, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is, it works out. Yeah. But uh, well, not, enough about us. Overboard. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm sure we're going to come back to you and Alex very soon. I just, while we're on the subject of like Leo being a temptation to white women and maybe being able to fuck your probably old fuck your mom, I want to pull up the Little Caesars commercial that Leo just us. starred in because, you know, the fa- the fans have really been sounding off in that comment section, and, and it's really been making me happy. They have. <clears throat> so if I don't think we should play it, Austin, just for copyright reasons. Yeah. We'll get probably just type pinched in if we do Little that. Caesars commercial. So, you know what we'll do is we're just going to read the comments. You guys, if you want to see this, you got to check it out. Little Caesars the thumbnail will describe it to you right now so you can find it. Third one there. It's it's a woman doing a fake, exaggerated, screamy face. And we're not going to watch it, but we are going to look at the comments, Austin. Go to the comments? Oh, okay, comments. And yeah. then you could, uh, if you go to their YouTube channel, there's other videos. But this is, a, I mean, obviously <laughs> these, are, these are solid already. <laughs> already solid. So, and my favorite thing, everybody, <laughs> is that Little Caesars is responding to you guys yeah. because you know whoever's running this is a 22-year-old unpaid social media intern. Mm-hmm. She's like a cute girl. She went to University of Texas, and mm-hmm. she just wants to – she's really – like I mean, my Instagram, it's really cute. That was actually the resume I applied with. I have 2,000 followers. I'm really good at hashtags. She's running this account, and she's trying to engage the fans to, like, build some sort of camaraderie between, yeah. like, I love Little viewer. Caesars, by the way. I want to go on the record and say that I – eat their pizza it's fantastic and uh we need to do more little caesars based <laughs> but uh, just the, what they're responding to they have no idea yeah. that it's all thinly veiled blowjob references <laughs> having to do with leo the tavio every comment mm-hmm. almost is a is a thinly veiled blowjob joke pertaining to this guy to my left <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable the work we've done to be to be able to have that happen right oh it's amazing so the the ad basically it's it's one of these i don't know it's like some postmodern surrealist they're in a palace mm-hmm. a bunch of lines are said that don't make any sense leo is looking like a sex symbol mm-hmm. but let's start reading the ads here the man that said, I smell bacon, should have won an award at the Golden Globes. That's Leo. That's also one of the tamer comments. Yeah. Okay, let's read yeah. the next comment down, yeah. Leo. Why don't you hit that Nothing one? Nothing like eating Little Caesar's <laughs> pizza, getting blown, <laughs> and watching Mad Men. 114 <laughs> likes under Little Caesar's fucking... In, that's unbelievable. I, I, don't, I am speechless, guys, and... 
Thank you. You know, thank you. So uh, what must Little Caesar, <laughs> they must just have no, <laughs> no idea. idea. <laughs> Don't forget Peaky Blinders. He watches real shows. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's, so let's keep scrolling down because this one, the next one got a reply. This one says, I just went out and bought from y'all because the acting from the long haired fellow was so good. Hell yeah. That's somebody, that's one of our Christian fans, mm-hmm. maybe from Tennessee. Mm-hmm from Georgia. And we appreciate you too. That's maybe going to get Leo hired a comment like that. Let's check it out. Let's see that reply from little Caesars. We hope you come back and visit (laughs) us says little Caesars official account. Hell yeah. Okay. So this is another guy's just being nice. Leo is the man. Yes. Put him in more commercials. Mm -hmm. Leah is a pizza God. Absolutely. Uh 57 thumbs up. Uh, it's cool to see him after seeing so many Danny Mullen antics. The bacon guy is awesome. And then here we go. 188. <laughs> you need my big pepperoni. Hell yeah. Leo. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to hear my favorite one. And I come, I did comment. I don't know if they left it up, but okay. No, my favorite one is one more down. It's I'm going to give this guy a shout out. It's dog dog horseman. Three eight nine nine. Uh-huh. I'm willing to blow <laughs> all of my money on Little Caesars. This pizza is the real Best Buy. Oh my god! <laughs> Which is a reference is... to Leo's favorite parking lot to get his dick sucked in. Oh Let's check out the god. replies here. Okay, they they tried to slide in a uh, an order link. Little Caesars, what scumbags! Mm-hmm. Oh no! But first, they wrote, "We love our loyal LC fans." <laughs> Well, the only thing that Leo is loyal to is the fellatio. Oh, my God. They're responding to all this. (laughs) Best comment, best response, dude. (laughs) Dude, did you look at that one, dude? Uncut pizza. Yeah, I love uncut pizza. A reference to my penis. (laughs) Extra cheesy, just like Papa Leo. People. (laughs) Unbelievable. People are murdering it here. Dude, unbelievable. You guys in the comment section have made me... Very proud many times, but not maybe the UCLA time when you hit the UCLA baseball Instagram. That was incredible, too. But this is top notch. Oh, guys. they're the best. Big W yeah. for Little Caesars. Great casting and acting. Little Caesars responded. <laughs> here we go. And now somebody oh wrote a God, novel. Somebody wrote a novel here. That was unbelievable. If you guys though. want a little behind the scenes of this commercial, <laughs> the guy who said, I smell bacon, which is Leo. His name is Leo. Immediately after filming ended, he and the two women and the delivery guy made their way to Leo's vehicle in the parking lot where he was blown by all three of them. The more you know, 16 upvotes, three replies. Unbelievable, huh? True story. I was the delivery guy. So this is what happens if any companies out there decide they want to work with us. This stuff's liable oh. to happen. Leo, I've been hit up by so many friends who have seen the ad on TV. Yeah, yeah, I've been hit by a lot of people saying, was Leo at a Little Caesars commercial? Yeah, dude. They fucking they put it on during UFC and during the football. Dude, what, I, hopefully wow. they put it on during the Super Bowl. That would be dope. That would be dope. And yeah. then the, uh, the the tales of the blowjobs will only grow fun, like greater and greater, huh? I mean, you got to keep the legend alive, buddy. Oh, my God. When's the last is... time you got a good old-fashioned suck job in a parking lot? <sighs> it was, uh, it's been a while, Danny, you know? Overboard humor. You should do a Leo the Tavio themed OnlyFans video where you get sucked off in a Best Buy parking lot. It's funny. Or a yeah. Target or any parking lot, really. I'm hot and ready for that. Mm-hmm. Could you? Are Let's you go. able to... Because I saw Brooks film some OnlyFans content once, and he was able to come on command really, really easily with a bunch of people watching. Are you wow. like that too, Overboard? Um, I would. I don't think I would be like that because I've never been in... I'm not, I'm not Brooks, that's, yeah. that's for sure. But yeah. I don't know. I've never tried. It's I've hard never to be a wanted porn to star. fuck in front of people. It's Brooks, hard to be a yeah, porn star. I, I wor- when King Croc wanted to do it, I warned him against it like pretty much every day for a long time, and he was very adamant about doing it. You know what I mean? But uh, I, dude, I don't think anybody. It seems like what percentage did they say? Did you did you Adam said eighty like, percent of the guys that he's seen do porn recently have been failures. Yeah, you can't. It's fucking hard work, I guess. I Brooks, you'd like have to be bisexual to do that. It helps to be bisexual, I think. Maybe. I mean, yeah. if you're a little bit turned on, I mean, it would be if you and I were bisexual and we were doing porn, like the, the fat guy with the boom mic would suddenly become like an 18 year old chick with perky tits. Exactly. It'd be like another. Heads. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that's I like going to fucking Nashville and taking taking those big bears down. You know what I mean? Every once a year kind of reminds me of the last one. I took. Oh, out. yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we were just straight up bisexual. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, I mean, if we were bisexual what, or excuse me. I guess I'm picturing it. I'm trying to intellectualize this. And it would be like, mm-hmm. uh, you ever seen a cartoon where there's a dog and he 
he's he's really hungry. Or maybe like maybe um, you know Elmer Fudd or one mm. of the Looney Tunes. When maybe they get stranded on a deserted island. When they get back, they're so hungry. They see one of their friends, and he just morphs into a steak. <laughs> yeah, like that's how I'm trying to intellectualize a fat boom mic operator. I'm trying to make him just mm, he turns into a cheerleader at the University yeah. of Tennessee. Yeah, that's that was it... too long of an explanation. No, I get it, dude. If Brooks can do that, man, I'm jealous. You know he, I mean? It was in the back of the, the U-Haul vehicle. We did a video on the California drought, and we shot some content in the back of a U-Haul. We were parked on a city street. Jesus. It was noon. Right down the street from Echo Park, there are people crossing back and forth, houses, and it would have been a courageous move just to take a piss in the back of the U-Haul. Like, for me, that would have been a stealthy move. But he was like, Atalia, suck my dick real quick. Gets blown and then just jizzes all over her face in a crowded neighborhood no at noon way. with me and Nico and my girlfriend and uh, Meta, Meta Ja Ray oh in the back God. of the U-Haul. That's probably one of the most, probably the best moments of his life, mm. Brooks. <laughs> Yeah. It's just another um, day, really. For Brooks? Yeah. <laughs> he is. might be. He might be kind of into you in that way, though. I mean, he did find you on the internet and was like a fan, right? Yeah. I wonder at what point Brooks was unwilling to do gay stuff with me. You think it was after mm -hmm. we first worked together? I'd say we... probably, or yeah. Yeah. I and mean, he didn't want to ruin the friendship at that oh, point. You know, I, I don't want to say anything that's going to make anybody feel unsafe right now, but I wonder if I just <laughs> tried to rape Brooks, <laughs> if he would put up much of a fight. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, no, I don't think so. Dude. I think he would try to like negotiate with you for a little while. You think so? Yeah, I think he'd let it happen. But then, if uh, depending uh, on how that went, he might, he might, he might flip around and and come to terms with it. I mean, his whole reason for not having sex with his friends is he doesn't want to screw up any relationships. Mm. But I mean, if I'm raping him, clearly I've thought it through. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, clearly I've made up my mind that it's worth whatever <laughs> oh, awkwardness. You clearly are giving consent. Yeah, I mean, if you rape somebody, Hypothetically. Like by definition, consent. Oh, my God. It's, this is, he's, he's a gay man. He's a friend of ours. I can talk about raping him. It's man-on-man -man rape. Everybody's okay with that kind of it's, rape. And it's, it's mostly humorous. rape fantasy. Right? Yeah, and it's not real. Yeah, come on. It's I mean, not based in reality at all. Rape fantasies are part of a healthy queer identity. Don't you judge, you That's YouTube censors. part of the censors. plus side of the LGBs. It's great. You could just, everybody is LGBTQ plus I am. If you have rape you fantasies, should be. you're I mean, part we just, of the community. We, sorry. However, we should all like come out as LGBTQ uh, uh, at some point just for the humor. Of I already it, right? came out as Latinx. I think I'm pretty close. I mean, yeah. after what Adam Fu and I have done, we've said this a lot, but I mean, right. I, I already am LGBTQ+. You plus. Yeah, I, I am. A Officially, he is. So. I'm queer, yeah. Um, Leo, we have another tryout coming. We do, we do. We had a lot of fun with it. We liked uh, really just fucking going crazy. So we got another guy who is trying out for the pod and vibing with the fellows. So, you know, overboard, uh, you've blessed us with unbelievable stories so far on this podcast. What do you think you should do to fuck with this newbie coming in? And uh, what do you what do you plan? What do you think you guys could do to really shock this fella? Uh, we could be special needs and we could do OnlyFans, maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait a second. You're telling me that you could play a special needs character? Well, yeah, but we also do OnlyFans, but we're both special needs. I love it. I love oh, it. this <laughs> is amazing. So oh, you guys so have bad. to act as... What are you gonna? You guys have to pick a character now. Like, yeah. what do you have? What is your ailment? So that we can talk about it on the pod, of course. Uh, to this guy, we're gonna mention it to this guy. It'd be funny if Alex was paralyzed. <laughs> I just want my name to be Dallas. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, Dallas You're, is a good. I love, I love Dallas. Imagine I love how Dallas. disappointed a dad would be who named his son. His name's gonna be Dallas. <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> he's gonna be a quarterback someday. He's gonna play peewee football, and I'm gonna work out his arm, and he's gonna have a just a cannon. And then the kid comes out, and he's just severely retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well to, sometimes i want to throw them in a river oh my god yeah they would i think they'd be very upset and kind of uh blame they would be the one that would blame the wife for it be like it's your goddamn fucked up jeans that it, did it them eggs of yours are rotten it's like you messing around with those black guys probably that's what did it <laughs> oh boy oh god it's uh it really does <laughs> because my mom was a special character <laughs> my mom yeah i mean that's let's face it that's what a guy in texas would probably would probably say and, and we're not okay with it we're fucking la woke boys oh, over here I mean, dude I mean, we're just saying like dude it's kind of fucked up that a guy gang. would say that dude my mom is a was a special education teacher and a lot of her friends had special needs children and the divorce rate amongst parents who have special needs kids is sad, man. My uh, 
I mean, look, I, uh, you know, uh, hopefully God blesses me with a very healthy child. But if, if I did have a special needs kid, I think I'd take good care of it. Just bring him on the pod. It? It. You hear that? It's already a bad start. That's not good. I, uh, I, yeah. A girl comes over that you're trying to get your dick sucked still. She's like, oh, my God, Leo. Oh, my God. Hey, I've been so turned on dancing with you all night. What's that cage with the blanket thrown over the top in the corner? I got a German Shepherd recently. <laughs> it's, a, it's a puppy. Don't even go under there. What? Don't look at him because he is <laughs> rabid right now. It's oh making, yeah, it's that's making human ask noises. Uh, no, it's 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 actually it's it's inflamed. His foot's inflamed right now, so he makes those kind of noises. The German, Sorry. the German Shepherd. Yeah, it's his name. There's a name tag taped oh, to the top of the. It's, it says Isaiah. That's a weird name for a German Shepherd. My kid's fucking Downs. What do you want me to say? So you put him in he a is, He has Down syndrome. Uh, my wife was a fucking raging alcoholic at the time, and she drank herself to fucking <laughs> oblivion while the kid was in the stomach. It's uh, The entire floor of the cage is covered in feces. You know what? I'm training that kid to date the fucking really hot Down syndrome girl that's a Victoria's Secret model, all right? He's going to be the king <laughs> one day. That's where the I don't future's going to be. Yeah, dude. I that no, it is. She's yeah, she's big time, and I slid into her DMs. All right, uh-huh. my son's gonna date her. Uh-huh. So he's gonna be the biggest pimp in his community. Why is there a hole in the side of the cage that's the perfect size for a male penis? <laughs> you got me, <laughs> that fucking Chris Hansen. Where is he? Uh, fucking fuck you. Why would you take the improv there, you <laughs> asshole? Know. I'm getting bored. <laughs> Let's, is this going to be retard uh, appropriation, though, if we do this? I mean, this is wrong, what we're doing here. And I feel like we're going for our second, uh, what is it, uh, uh, where they they restricted. Oh, they age restricted uh, the video? Age restricted the last video. Yeah, we might have to. If we get one more age restriction, we'll clean it up a little bit. Mm. But, um, yeah, I think if you just. Well, let's not. Danny, don't he be, looks blind already because of his glasses. He Why looks blind. He, dude, he looks blind. play the blind guy. He could be blind. You could, <laughs> you should have anger issues. I, I've thought you were blind before, dude, when I first met you. Now, yeah. I think you should just be looking completely up like Ray Charles, kind of. And how about Alex is deaf? <laughs> and Alex is deaf. And you you, you fake uh, sign at oh us. Gosh. And hopefully this fucker doesn't know sign who's coming. I've done a sign language class before. Yes, give us some little, fake. I don't know that much. All right, so it would be like, so where, uh, where did you meet, guys? Well, then wouldn't someone have to sign that to her if she's deaf? No, she's... She reads lips. She reads lips, yeah, yeah. you asshole. She okay. reads but occasionally she'd be, wait, man, I don't know. The only qualification for being deaf is just making weird noises with your mouth, too, because you're unaware of oh, you're your like, actual, like... <laughs> Danny, so you're like, nah. <laughs> what, I mean, I'm not. Danny, you just did an impression of a of a deaf girl. That was really fucked Whatever, up. Whatever, dude. I mean, deaf. Let's. We can only care about so many ailments. And <laughs> being deaf is your life's still pretty good if you're deaf. Okay. It might be your better. senses are heightened. You sleep better. Yeah, yeah, you sleep better. You basically have super. Very. Yeah. Very true. You sleep better. Taste better. Mm-hmm. If um, I mean, it's too bad her mom's not deaf. She wouldn't hear her soon-to-be son-in-law Probably calling like her a fucking more. bitch in the middle of the night. Yeah. All right, so the guys on the couch, we go. So Alex, where are you from? I have to talk like you don't even. If you really think you could do the talk to, but you could just do the signing. I'm from. <laughs> Maybe uh, let's let's just do the signing. That might yeah, be the just best. Do the way signing, and then yeah. this is going to be so, so offensive. So then we <laughs> could okay. No, no, let me see. Do the signing. Do it like really I don't quick. Even know how just mess know. around. Yeah, just do that kind of shit. Well, like that's, that. yeah. But like, oh, okay. Well, that's, that's pretty not good. Bad. Yes, that's I do bad. believe the guy on the couch has a small penis. You're you're right, actually. And so. you're you're an OnlyFans performer too. So a lot of the sign language can be very on the nose and sexual. You know, <laughs> yeah. just like, I'll be like yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bukaki. It's going to be really hard not to laugh. If, yeah, yeah, this guy laugh. believes well, that's this, why this will be really no, funny. I am, thankfully for me, I brought this. We're going to tell this guy that I'm like the marshmallow or the dead mouse of the comedy world, and I just wear this. The You're whole a piece of shit, because you could hide behind that thing. And uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you should identify as a dog. No, I just I want to be a, a comedian who wears a mask. Right. I'm a faceless dude. comedian, no, 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 dude. Right. You're a piece of shit, dude. Why would you do this? You think I'm going to be able to keep it together, dude? God damn it! Oh, this is going to be great. I can break all I want in here. Um, should I should I warn him? Like we'll do the hot we'll do the unhot mic at the beginning, and I warn him about like really hiding your identity kind of thing. Like oh yeah, this guy's. He's uh, like the marshmallow of like comedy and stuff. No one really knows his identity. And, uh, you know, there's theories that he has multiple people playing him at different locations with the mask and stuff. But he doesn't. You know what I mean? It's just only one of him. But anyway. And how about I just 
I want everything I say just to be the stupidest thing ever. Dude, yeah. Like, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll crack jokes and stuff, and there'll just be no logic. Perfect. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to f- laugh at them like it's like you're <laughs> absolutely a genius. So it's fine. It's perfect. It's basically how things normally go. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> no, but yeah, no. And then uh, obviously we're going to have our guests here of the special needs community. Today is a special needs podcast. Mm-hmm. You have your retarded cameraman already. Yeah, we, we do. do have Dino. Dino. How, how's it going, Dino? Shout out to you, buddy. You're doing a great job over there. Do we have? I, I thought there was going to be a rat dig Ralph appearance. Well, he. I, I told you what his delay was. He, he's looking for a shirt, and I said, "Buddy, we just do it shirtless." And he hasn't responded to that. He goes, "I'm dropping this off, then I'm gonna head over." I'm sorry about this. It's okay. He said he's going to be here soon. So. This is the thing that we couldn't figure out: is Rat Dick Ralph felt that his shirt was inadequate to appear on the Leo and Danny show. Rat Dick Ralph spends a good chunk of the show completely naked, yes. showing his penis, which by his own admission is embarrassing, just his penis. So like, why is a cool shirt ruining his image or whatever? Because <laughs> he's why, Rat why Dick Ralph, shirt, baby. That's Rat Dick Ralph being Rat Dick Ralph, you know? Okay. He, he kind of marches to the beat of his own drum. He does march to the beat of his own mm-hmm. drum. I think it's... Um, it's like a, a guy who lives under a bridge, you know, has a crack habit, mm-hmm. banging an old pot with a spoon. I think that's the drum that Rat Dick marches to. Well, at least it's still a drum, you know what I mean? He's still six feet, not under. You know, he's alive. Yeah. You know, he's doing something drum. right, you know? Mm-hmm. He sleeps 10 hours a day, he told me, which mm-hmm. I find wild. You know, I struggled to sleep six. He's sleeping 10 every time. Well, Rat Dick Ralph, I mean... Yeah, he's done some stuff in the past that he's not proud of. <laughs> but does he strike you as a guy who has an active conscience? The guy no. who's got those thoughts nipping at him before he drifts off each night? No. no. Some would call him mentally strong, or you can say ignorance is bliss. Either one. Yeah. Works for me. It's just, I think, I mean, who knows? Maybe through the constant use of acid, LSD, and God knows what else, he's just eroded that part of the brain that makes mm. one worry. Or he's reached a new level of consciousness. I mean, we don't really know that these these drugs, the, these mind-altering drugs aren't good for you yet. I mean, yeah, we do. We do. We're, I guess if we look at someone in the street that's just losing their mind, screaming to the sky, and yeah. they have an open wound on their foot, and they're walking around without a, a shoe on, you could say that it's done some harm, you know what I mean? But It was almost the ghost of overboard humor future. Yeah. It was almost you, buddy. Were you ever, were you ever like, dude, this fucking sucks being homeless? Like, did you ever think that? Because you always told me that it was fine and you liked it that way. Yeah. But did you ever like once be like, you know what, dude? It's time to get back into the fucking matrix. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Towards the end when I got, when I rented out the broom closet, I, when, when I, I realized when I turned 30 that I wanted to be back in the matrix mm-hmm. find a woman uh-huh things hell like yeah. that hell yeah you've always i mean the vagina has been a driving force for you and in many ways it's been it's the only force yes it's the only force what were what were the pros and cons of the matrix <laughs> what are the pros and cons of the matrix yes. well being out of the matrix what were the it's pros? the difference yeah. between a, a wolf excuse and me a yeah that's what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. the pros and cons of being in out, and out of, out of the matrix you've, you've, so you've been to the other side yeah if you're like a shih tzu you know your your owner feeds you and stuff but nobody really respects you if you're a wolf, everybody respects you, but you're you're not going to get handouts. You got to go out there. You got to make your own way. All right, no metaphor. Okay, no metaphor. What were the shitty things and the good things about living in a tent by a river? Uh, the best thing was running water when you're sleeping and, and, and just like animal sounds. It's very, very calming, being grounded to the earth, sleeping better underground. What if you just, you can find those apps on your iPhone that can do the same thing. Yeah, they can simulate it. It was closer to the ground, though, than you and you yeah. when you put the raindrops on in our hotel room so that Nico can, we can muffle out Nico's light snoring. Yeah, because Nico, I always put on sleep sounds that yeah. are pretty much what you're describing. I put those on when we're in hotel rooms because yeah. Nico always has to get up in the middle of the night to drain his little wee wee. Yeah. And he always sneaks fat shits in the middle of the night, too. He does. He never shits in the morning or any, he doesn't drink really coffee. So you can't, like, you control your shits with coffee, in my opinion. You need to take a shit early. You take a, a big cup of coffee. We'll make it happen for you. Nico doesn't need a, somehow. He's he's on a different schedule, so sneaks him in the middle of the night. It's the main preposterous. benefit though is you can't be a pussy. You when you're out there, you, uh, there's no being a pussy. You have to actually get up every day, walk at least a couple miles just to get food or whatever you need to get. Yeah, and um, there's no days off. It's I like, get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah you you have to be. 
like David Goggins to live out there like that. <laughs> okay. It's funny that you say that because isn't that exactly what they're trying to, what some homeless people are trying to escape from, which is like responsibility and having to do things. Don't you? It's yeah. wild. It's wild that they oftentimes, when I look at a homeless person, um, panhandling on a really busy like corner, I think, damn, that's hard work. Like, do they have any idea that they could just be spinning a sign and somebody would give them 15 bucks an hour somewhere? And, uh, but I think the panhandling hobos make more. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, but it's still, they're, they're getting after it, man. And then like, you know, like fucking lizard King, uh, our favorite hobo up North that we hopefully are going to see soon. That guy got stabbed in the foot in Venice, dude. Wouldn't that make you want to just go back home? On, like, wasn't there times where you're just like, dude, I got to just go get a door, you know what I mean, and some walls? Um, No, honestly, it's the other way around. But wow. I there was a couple times where it was scary when there's a mountain lion chasing a deer by me. Jesus. So that the the feeling in the ground and, and, the, and how fast the animal goes by you, it feels like It was a, that alien. close that you could feel it in the ground? Yeah, well, it was really close. It almost hit my tent. Dude, it feels alien, bro. Jesus, I could see that. They're just it, so much stronger it, than you, yeah, can, you when are. When you see a so. deer going 45, Jesus, it, it doesn't look real. And then when and when there's a lion following it behind it. You didn't oh. see this. You were in your tent. Yeah, but you can see it moving because it's very fast. It, it, you can't make it out that clearly. It's, hmm. it, but the it's, story is getting like, okay. So when he first told me the story, he you know heard it in like the distance the screen, and now he can see it. Now he saw through the now he can see a lion chasing a deer. <laughs> next time you're gonna come in your next pod, you're gonna be like, and, and, you, and you, until you save <laughs> you, a you, baby deer's life, <laughs> oh my God, when a mountain lion. lion is chasing, you're not an, even a mountain lion, an African lion, an African lion. <laughs> they're until out you there. save its life, they're out there in Orange County, dude. Do you remember that? I sent you the video of the naked guy that would walk downstream jerking off completely naked. That's got to be, maybe that's what pushed him over the edge and pushed him back. That was an interesting thing. That, that's that, got to be that hard to deal, deal with. You think you have your own little, your little plot of stream. And there's yeah, a guy, there'd be this 75 year old man that would like every Sunday morning, he would walk downstream with no clothes, no shoes, no nothing. And he would just be jerking, his limp, <laughs> piece of shit. Be jerking his limp dick in the middle <laughs> of the mountain. Get down there. We need to whack that guy with a stick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put him out of his misery. <laughs> yeah, we need to, like, but I sent Danny a video of that, that. So, you know, I'm not lying. What? You saw it? I don't remember that. You know, Wait, we I need to do, can you pull that you up? You need to pull that up. You it's in our DMs. It's in our DMs. It's in, our, it, it's in hit our, it, it's with in Danny? DMs. Pull it up. Pull it up right now. It's in but your, uh, pull that, it up. That's now. the kind of guy that, like, if the cops showed up to that crime scene and the guy was bleeding. They probably have a nickname this. for him. They go, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's uh, that's all. That's all. Uh, that's all. Jerk off Jenkins. There he's always go, dude, down there. there. He's always, <laughs> always rubbing. That's old. Uh, that's old slippery. Sol, slippery cock Steve. That might be the name. Oh my god, dude! You could go down there and kick his head in, and nobody would care. I mean, that's a dingling decent, Johnson. We got him. That's a good neighborhood too, man. That's not okay, dude. I mean, honestly, if I was a home, you know what? If I lived in that area and I knew that absolutely no one would see me doing that except for a hobo. I would probably just if and I was old, I might do that as therapy. That's some grounding. Jerking off in fucking nature, dude. I think maybe his maybe he was like a local guy who worked at a law firm and he just didn't like the idea that this fuck was camping out <laughs> in basically his backyard. So that was his way of scaring him off. Yeah, or he might have uh like his wife like questions it like, "Why do you think that that's the best like technique? Why don't you just take your gun out there and fire a couple of shots in his direction or something. He's like, no, no, no. You don't understand these bums. I have to walk out there completely naked and yep. jerk off my limp cock every Sunday. It's psychology. <laughs> it's psychology. And if I miss a Sunday, it's he's going to stay longer. So I need to go every Sunday. You finding this thing? I'm trying to. That's unbelievable. I can't believe that's a real thing. What about so? Are you happy to be back under your parents' household with this man uh, to your left? Well, I'm happy not to be at the broom closet anymore. <laughs> do you see? Do you see yourself marrying this man? Well, we've talked about it before. Are you in love with him? Uh, yeah, I think so. That was a very <laughs> one of the weakest uh, answers to that question I've ever seen in my life. Is that a problem? No, you're you're a young lady, but you might be lost right now. Um, but either way, sometimes he does things that make me not like him at all. All right, let's tell your talk mom about to shut it. the fuck up in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, and then claim that it was his sleepwalking, like the last time he hit you, it was sleepwalking, or when he takes a hundred percent of your OnlyFans paycheck. Does that make you not like him a little bit more? <laughs> yeah. What else? Well, he's kind of crazy. 
Yeah. Well, obviously. I mean, come on. Did you, you hear all these stories that he's telling you? I mean, but but let me tell you. Are, but aren't you, if you're not marching to fucking completely losing your mind, I mean, are you not, li- you're not living if you're not just marching yeah, in an upward true. angle to losing your mind. So uh, what's it going to take for us to hear wedding bells? Well, he's looked at rings before. Aww. What are you looking to spend I on a ring overboard? That's cute, man. Okay, he doesn't even want to spend that much money on it. So I was like, if you can... Like, well, I'm Sherm not is a jeweler, so I just have to get a real diamond, and then I'll have him make me a ring, and okay. it'll be valued at a couple of thousand dollars. But I'll probably spend about six, seven hundred bucks. That's the way to do okay. it. So you um, want to spend six, seven hundred, Alex? How much would you like for him to spend on a ring? A little more than that. That's what I told him. I was like, I'm not gonna have a cheap ring. Do you believe in Leo? What is the the common courtesy? Is it a quarter of your yearly yeah. pay? Yeah, that's right. Three months. Uh, so it'd be like 40, 40 50 bucks, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about that. It was just the streams. Oh, there he is. Hello, how are you? Uh, sorry, one second. Uh, we're not rolling quite yet. Sorry. Um, well, I didn't know. I didn't. Even, yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta. I mean, no, I don't know how's it going, man? That. Sorry, we just gotta do a couple things over. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, well uh, now I guess. Uh, yeah, wait, are we going I, into the tryout segment? Yeah, I mean we're not we're not rolling yet. Like, no, we're not. Uh, uh, are you guys uh, Are you guys ready, dude? With the uh, got the generator up. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut. You got you get the flashlights ready. No. Sandbags in place. Yeah. All right. Um, hey, what's up, dude? Welcome. Yeah, the the Welcome. tortoise. The tortoise cell. All right, my man. Go get in there. Uh, your name is. My name's Paul Ray. Correct, Paul Ray. Nice to meet you. I'm Leo. Hey, Good, to you. Good to meet you. You're a handsome oh, kid. Yeah, I like the outfit, Paul. I do. Uh, you look fantastic. Well, we're not quite live yet. I gotta. No, yeah. I'm, I gotta get in costume when we're. Going we'll live. explain real quick what's what's going on here, man. Yeah, we're. Uh, Good man, we got a we got a couple people with uh with special needs to your right there. Okay. Special blind. needs is. Yeah, 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 grab that thing. There we go. So this is. Overboard, as we call him, he is a blind OnlyFans creator. There's no other way to put it, and, and we're proud chickens. of him. We are proud of him, and he's a good man and yeah, a friend of our channel. Mm-hmm. This is his lovely girlfriend who is impaired in, uh, in the ears. Mm-hmm. Deaf. Mm-hmm. Um, Paul, right? Yeah. What's up, man? I uh, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, make sure you put the mic right up to your uh, your mouth there. Yeah, yeah, I'm Danny, and when we go live, I'm actually yeah. gonna have this on. I do. Sort of a dead mouse, marshmallow type thing where yeah. it's, I just think it's kind of cool to have my identity hidden. People don't know who I am. Yes. It allows me to still live my life like a civilian. I mean, if I took off the mask and I performed mm-hmm. without it, I wouldn't be able to visit a local shopping mall or go to the grocer to pick up some meats. Yeah, I mean, what your the, the reaction to, to, your, uh, to your, pod, your live podcast in Dubai was insane, man. So. Yeah, and it's fine when I have the mask, but for me to do it without the mask, mm-hmm. well, every day of my life would be bedlam. Are you recording yet? Not yet, man. Not yet. Want to give us a play? What's, what's that, Paul? You're famous, aren't you? You're no, famous. well, not this guy is, not me. Mm. Austin, you want to give us a play ball? And his mic's working because I don't hear too much in my... Uh... Let's get those headphones going. And then, Paul, we're going to have you do a little mic check before we get going here. Yeah, yeah. Mic check, mic check. Nope. And got nothing. Got nothing. One more time. Mic check, mic check. Okay, just give me a minute. One second. We're gonna we're gonna figure out what's going on with your mic, man. Make sure that we can hear you real well. Sure. Just swap with swap with overboard for a minute. Okay. All right, sure. I'll figure it out. There we go. Right, let's see. So this, I'm gonna put it behind me. Thanks, dude. Right. Appreciate that. Overboard, he's there. We go. He's passing it over. Good stuff. Right, How's this one? Yes, sir. Of course, overboard. Nice. Wow. Wow. Paul. Yeah. Where are you from, kid? Well, let's. Oh, yeah, we, he's still figuring it out. You're still figuring it out, right, Austin? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's got the mic that works there, though. Overboard can't talk now, but they can share that sure, mic. Sure, sure. They can share it for a second. Okay. Yeah, let's just get everything situated here before we get started because this is going to be a big a big program. And yeah, yeah, I just yeah. want to make sure we got everything technically working. No, but uh, I read you were a Scottish footballer, oh. which means. A good amount of people got to know who you are already. Yeah, yeah. I played at uh, Livingston FC. Mm-hmm. I was over there, which people usually don't associate Americans with soccer prowess. With but soccer I, here. Yeah. But I was the kid who I was. Yeah. I was just right. from a really young age in camps. It was. It was almost. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I'll say it, it was bordering on child abuse, the devotion with which my father forced me into <clears throat> but, competition soccer. But come on, man. Wasn't it worth it? Because you played with against Messi one game, and you fun? got his jersey, Are dude. Are you kidding me, dude? Yeah, jersey swap. I slide tackled him. <laughs> you get a red guard or a yellow card? I forget. Oh, they threw me out, that bitch. He got what? a red guard, but whatever. I mean, you got a one chance to slide tackle Messi. What do you mean? What are you going to fucking do, dude? You got to take wet and right overboard. You got to take your fucking shot. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're blind. Did you, so. uh, when you Googled, did you see any game footage? No, I just saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was pretty good. There was a match I had with Liverpool that was actually here at the LA Galaxy Arena. Mm-hmm. And I, two goals, two assists, and I actually saved a goal from the other team. That's fucking That's unbelievable. very good. Yeah. But you didn't enjoy it? Didn't enjoy soccer? Yeah. Oh, no, I enjoyed soccer. Hey, did you kind of party? You partied with Beckham that night. You told me that story. You know David Beckham? David Beckham. I've yeah. definitely heard that name. Absolutely. He's one of the most famous men in the world. Well, he's probably got right? 400 million soccer. Yeah, he, he married one of the Spice Girls. Yeah, that Victoria. Guy. Victoria Beckham. And let's yeah. just say that me, Dude. Vicky B, and Davy B in a house in Bel Air. Uh-huh. No limits. <laughs> it was wild, dude. No limits, dude. You That's know? awesome, bro. That's I mean, when you party with a European soccer star, man, there's no, there's no better party in the world. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like this. These guys. They got the yachts, they got the cars, they got the girls. And you Paul, I mean? like, I guess there's, when it comes to us Americans, there's this idea of like sexual possession. Mm-hmm. This is my wife, this is my girlfriend, mm-hmm. stay away from her. Mm-hmm. And Davy B and Vicky B, there's just none of that. So it's, I mean, if you were hanging out with me, it'd be you, it'd be this guy, it'd be that chick, it'd be this douchebag behind the, ca- everybody yeah, would be man. taking a chance. You know you call me the douchebag, right? No, 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 no. no. Sorry about that. My bad, overboard. Sorry about that, buddy. I was tilted. My head was tilted toward Dino over there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, but everybody be taking a fuck. Yeah, it's uh, it's a wild time, man. I wish that I uh, could have partaken, but I we weren't, uh, you know, we weren't good friends yet. So, but it's okay. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering how did y'all how did y'all meet? Well, I'm well, blind, but I can't hear my mic. Oh, uh, we got. It. He's working on it. He's right working now. on it right now. Well, we were here. We were playing the uh, the Seattle Sounders, mm. which is an American football league thing. I and had a press badge. I was just working for the Daily News at the time. Yeah, he was there, and I, uh, one of the strikers on the Seattle Sounders, is this kid Charles Everett, mm-hmm. and him and I had been talking so much shit to each other, like, "I'm gonna fuck you up. Mm-hmm. Your girlfriend's ugly. Mm-hmm. You got a small dick. That's the rumor in the Sounders locker room." Mm-hmm. I was leaving those, just spamming his Instagram account. And then he, I mean, it almost felt like a hockey game. And we just, <laughs> just cleats off, gloves off. We just duked it out at the 40-yard line. Mm-hmm. And then he, with his press badge, ran out. And he actually sucker punched Mr. Everett. <laughs> yeah, I, I did it. I did seven days in jail. And I had to wow. pay a fine. I lost my job. And I had to pay a really, really large fine. But, you know, guess who was there to pick me up in a limo? Uh, it was a stretch Escalade limo. He was there oh, to yeah. pick me up. And he... Uh, I opened the door and he uh, he somehow figured out. Well, he I, I, then d- I ended up finding out he asked my uh, my ex girlfriend all these questions, but uh, he actually fucked her. But that's okay. Um, but he had asked European her, manners, buddy. He asked her what kind of you know uh, wine I liked, and he had a cheese platter with just this unbelievable cab that I to this day I, I always say is the best wine I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. So it was it was just an unbelievable time, man. Or do you, you stealing this jacket there? <laughs> yeah. No, I was help, helping him take it off. <laughs> it's funny. We were just talking about how the man to your right there was it, or he was formerly a homeless man. So it, oh. he's he's fought his way all the way back, and now he's he's actually having sex with a woman that you see on the couch. Well, I was blind. Which, I couldn't. And then the government helped me. For I find it shocking yeah. that he has turned around his yeah. life so quickly. I can see swapped. shadow. Yeah. 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 Really? He's yeah. not a hundred percent. He's like what? What is it? What percentage? Well, I see shadow. Okay, so shadow. Oh, I hear my mic. Do you now. see shadows right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, every go. time light. I could see light and shadow, but um, mm-hmm. not very. Uh, yeah. So that means you can make out my hand in front of your face? Yeah, five fingers. Yeah. A couple yeah. of times. I didn't believe it. Right. I didn't believe it until right. one time on the podcast, I grabbed a softball and just drilled him in the face with it. <laughs> it was very. <laughs> so, it was a fake softball. <laughs> I, know, I think you took it like thing. a fake softball, yeah. but you. You're just a beast, man. I don't know how you wore that thing like a fucking champ, dude. Your head snapped back so much, dude. I saw your Adam's apple, dude, uh, but you came right back like fucking... <laughs> Whatever, dude. dude. I said to make sure you, you weren't faking, bro. Yeah, great pod that day, dude. Yeah, was, like, was, oh, you ready to roll over there? 
Yeah, rolling. Okay. Good. All right, let's uh, give us yeah. a play ball once we're good to go. He said they're duking it out. That means they fight. fight. All right. right. He fights too. Huh? Okay. Play ball. Hey, out there. You're coming in with this. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to an episode of Slitty Boo with your favorite host. Wait, cut this. Cut, cut, cut. I got to get this right. We got to do that intro right, too. Yeah, yeah. Austin, can you give us the customary countdown? You know, the full one? Yeah, yeah. One oopsie, two oopsie, three oopsie, play ball. Hey, everybody, we're coming at you with the zippity doo da We're coming at you real fast on a Monday night. Ooh, the bad man coming. zippity doo da folks. Welcome back to another chapter of our favorite, favorite show, The Doggo and the Homo. <laughs> All right, now listen. Um, how is your week going, Doggo? <laughs> Well, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. He always does this in the beginning. <laughs> oh, yeah. that crazy, huh? Well, well yeah. Some How do you feel about that, Paul? Um, it makes me wonder if he had a scruff with another dog. I think so. He's got a. He's having trouble speaking for sure. They, he might have uh, gotten tangled up with a pit bull. Yeah. Is that what happened? What, how are those pit bulls? Did they move into your neighborhood again? Yeah, when they coming in, Paul, would you say that a couple of pit bulls move into your neighborhood? The neighborhood value just, I mean, that price of your home is going down. It drops straight down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody's scared of pit bulls. Yeah. So, Paul, tell me about your time. Yeah, but you see. I like all dogs, though. Me. I like oh, all yeah. Dogs. Um, you can make out the shadow of a dog. That's for well, sure. Yeah, What's I, your favorite kind of outline of a dog? I don't, I don't care about that. I like the dog uh -huh. because he's nice. Okay, yeah. it's furry. So, nice. As long as he doesn't bark too much. Do you like to be petted there, buddy boy, doggo? Yeah. Hey, I got a joke for everybody. Oh, he's back. What's what, up? What do you call a dog with three spots, a wagging tail, and a nice owner? What's that? You call him a border collie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. Kind of I don't get it either. I don't get it no, either. Say that into the mic, sweetie. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I don't get it either. Oh, she doesn't get it either. Um, well, you want to do it again, but to slow it down a little bit, buddy? What do you call a dog mm -hmm. with three spots, a mm -hmm. wagging tail, and a loving owner? Mm -hmm. A border collie. Okay, what's your name? Can you explain My that My name one? is Paul. I don't get Paul, it at you all. You don't get it, Paul? No. Paul doesn't get it. <laughs> um, you know what, dude? I was going to... I was actually going to roll with it and yes and the shit out of that, but, dude, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. The Border Collie. Yeah. Okay, well, you want to explain it? You want to break it down like, uh, like, like, like uh, you know, I'm blind or something? Yeah, because, yeah. like, it's got... Because, they're, like, they're, big, they're taller than other dogs, but mm -hmm. skinny, too, I think. And, I, and also, if you I think about feel. it, it's, oh. it's sort of one of those... It's kind of a Mort Saul, like postmodernist irony type of assembly to a joke, mm. where if you come at it from that point of view and you take the word border, which can mean many things. Yeah. Border can mean like border collie, can mean somebody who takes care of horses, mm. or it can mean like the edge or the dividing line. Oh. And this joke to me, it's like the dividing line between like American vaudevillian comedy and also something from a later era <laughs> of say like the post-war <laughs> deconstructionist nightclub acts. Nice. Do you get nice it more now? Doggo. Yeah, I get it now, doggo. That made less sense to me. <laughs> Pee on any fire hydrants this week, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, honestly, I hope that you, your new owner puts you in a fucking kennel and makes you shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's not nice. Yeah. I'm sorry I said that. Why don't we talk about the plights of the handicap? Yeah. And uh, how they uh, deal with their love for dogs in different ways. And and, and there's obviously s uh, emotional support animals, right? Do you have an emotional support animal for, for your condition? Yeah, I do. Okay, that's nice. I have a dog. Nice. And it helps you get through the day. Oh, yeah. Do you ever look at the people that can hear and kind of envy them? Um, I don't know. Okay. So do you, the two of you, 
I mean, is it even is it even legal for you to be having sex on the internet, given your conditions? Um, I think maybe. it doesn't it doesn't change anything about legal legal things. Ray Charles got a lot well, of pussy, Danny, and he was a hundred percent blind. You're only what 80, 90? It's nothing. I can, can see feel, shadow. I, I wear contacts. I'm I'm a percentage blind myself. So, yeah. And the blind are really like daredevil. You guys have the advanced senses. Yeah. You know, how, what can you do that you you think other humans can't do? Well, I have good reflexes because I see shadow, but uh -huh. I don't know how to see colors. Okay, so colors you think about. You would like to see colors. I don't know what that is. So you're just stuck in a blind. You're stuck in a black and white movie. That's what I say. I know, and but your girlfriend's never even watched a black and white movie. So you're winning, buddy, because she is. She's young and I mean, she's younger than you. What? How old are you? Thirty. Oh, yeah. Well, you look older eight, than that. I'm just kidding. No. Older. What do you like about when you feel her face? Right. What about its topography gives it away that she's pretty? Because your hands, buddy. You know, you really caught yourself a good little fishy. And does that ever make women uncomfortable in bars? Like your method of checking them out. It involves physical contact. If it's okay, would uh, you would you feel her face for us right now on the pod so we could see kind of how how and what you do to a human girl's face when you first meet her? Well, I I don't know. That's private. Uh, she can you do. do it she right wants now. it to be done. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Wow. Is What's it just this? one hand or is it? Oh wow! So you put her, you put the, her your fingers in her mouth. Yeah, she's weird. What? Ow! Like it's the funny. doggo likes it. You know, that's the alarm. Ow! Whenever uh, Paul, whenever he has a boner, he does this. Uh, 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 it's kind of like the boner alarm is okay. what we've lovingly came to call it. Hey, Austin, can you do the doggy boner rap? I hit my ears. Yeah, headphones. Yeah, All right, ready? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm like Elon Musk with my red rocket. Me and my dogs, we always stay fucking. Yeah, I'm in the kennel fucking dogs. I'm in the lawn fucking dogs. I'm at your mom's fucking dogs. Biatch. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I love that jingle. What do you think about that, Paul? <laughs> that's that's funny. Yeah. I like the Elon Musk uh Bar, bar. Hey, it was me, a very I, good bar. I think I feel something coming on. Oh give shit, Doggo. Yeah, yeah. Doggo on the mic. And mm, 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 hey, my name is Doggo. Yeah, my name is Doggo. Hey, everybody, my name is Doggo, and I like to play with bones. I live in a kennel. It's not very big, and on the floor are newspapers. Hell yeah, dude. That was weird. I liked it. It was good. Doggo, um, listen, we can't deny what the fucking numbers of the pod gets. I don't get that. The Doggo isn't a podcast that I would uh, watch. Wait, but, did, dude, did, the numbers. Wait, who just said that the rap was weird? That was Overboard. Oh, uh, that was uh, the, the guy that's blind. Was it really? Yeah. You're lucky you're blind. And I'm just saying, you That's over there, look, you over there, Paul. And this is this is something we can maybe cut out. But sure, cut this. Out. Hey, cut this out, man. Hey, fucking cut this out. Go ahead. Is this cut? I can go. You don't pee? come on go my pee, pod. No, yeah, just I'm telling you I right now. Go pee. I don't care. The only reason I'm not walking this, over there is, is smacking. I have to pee anyways. Listen, go, you, don't disrespect him go this pee. much go in, on his own podcast, dude. I will, dude. It's <laughs> if I'm coming over here, and I'm doing a rhyme or I'm doing a flow or doing a song, and you disrespect it. That's the surest way to get knocked on your ass again. No, it's going to be worse it than the weird. softball. It was just weird. It wasn't bad. Disrespect, but weird. But I have to pee it. <clears throat> he needs my help. I'll bang your chick again to keep that shit up. <laughs> prima nocta. You know what prima nocta is, Paul? Prima nocta. That's, um... Remember in Braveheart? He's, he's yeah. going to get her. Yeah, he... Right? In Braveheart, prima nocta is where the guy, the king, gets to have sex with the the maiden on the, ma on the wedding night. He uh -huh. get, just gets his... Whoever he wants to deflower, he gets to deflower them on, you know what I mean? And Danny sometimes, sometimes Danny just says prima nocta and we know that, you know, hey, sorry, doggo, yeah. cut that out. Um, sometimes when doggo says, he, he exclaims prima nocta, we know that he's going to take one of our broads home, man. There's nothing we could do. Yeah. <laughs> and prima nocta, I mean, it's, for me, it's like, 
if I come to your house and I, I'm in a, one of my moods, I'll just whip out my cock and say, prima nocta, and piss on your couch. His first night is what it means, literally. And yeah, and he um, urinated on uh, actually uh, my parents' couch right in front of me. And it was it's kind of gnarly, but you know, I, I, I showed him the paycheck. You know what I mean? I showed him the paycheck, and they're like, all right. I kind of want to take uh, in a little You want to have a cigarette? Take a little break? Let's take a break, dude. Hey, off mic, break. <sighs> Let's relax. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Holy, yeah. yeah. No, you wanna, I, yeah, I, 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 can we light one up in here? Overboard, just so we're cool. Like it's it's not a, it's not a big deal, dude. But just you know, try to maybe look better on air. You know? Yeah, what, what do do? yeah. You gotta like, dude. You you can't make him look like he's a pussy and his rap wasn't good, dude. Like, Why for real. Was pussy? <laughs> but you know, what you I mean, kind of dude. implied I was a pussy, <laughs> dude. Yeah. You, he's right. It definitely. Me yeah. I mean, you implied he was a pussy for. <laughs> For his rap sucking. You know I don't like what he puts <laughs> a dog on. I mean, that's mm. that's sort of like, I mean, you're you're sort of putting words in his mouth, but you're sort of yeah. not. Well, not. I said dude. it weird. You it was I'm weird, not. okay. The I mean, dog when you dis him. The dog you think it scares, scares him? scares him. But when you... It uh, does scare him. Yeah, it does. Oh, weird. Okay. You can't even see it. All right. I, well, I'm not afraid of it. I just... <laughs> hey, uh, I Austin, you, you mind pulling up some soccer footage? Yeah. Just like, just, just put up some games. Like, put up like Germany World Cup 2014. Let's watch some highlights. Sure, there we go. Did you watch did you catch this World Cup? Uh recently? Oh no. no it was twenty fourteen. I, I never watched it. Dude, it was off the hook. Off the hook. Let's pull this up. So let's get to, are these just highlights? Yeah, yeah dude. But, but are you uh you're in Danny Mullen mode now, right? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, I mean I just we'll we'll cut back in a second, but just this dude, crazy, crazy World Cup. Dude, Germany. There was a guy named Steinschlager. Mm -hmm. He was the best corner throw-in man in all of Europe. And that's like people, they downplay the importance of the corner throw. And Leo, you yeah. know how important it is. I mean, yeah, but I, you know, I'm a big soccer fan, Premier League. You know what I mean? Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, big fan. Uh, Messi's the GOAT, of course, but I do appreciate... This is Steinschlager right here. Yeah, I appreciate some fucking... Some football talk, as we, as we call it. Yeah. Dude, this guy... This guy, Steinslager, like family man. Look at that, dude. To the media, he's a family man, Christian, beautiful wife, beautiful kids. Yeah. But dude, dude. Kanye would like Him that. and I had fashion week once. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Dude, what, dude. Yeah, the Milano fucking uh, actress and the uh, and the fucking... Uh, the uh, Wilson twin? Yeah. Was it Mary Kate? Was it... I don't even... Mary, I think one, it was dude. Mary Kate. Dude, Steinslager and me and... What, when you hear the name Steinslager, you think, like, I don't know, but I think big old penis. And it's accurate. Steinslager. Sounds manly. Dude, he had a fucking big, schnitzel on him or what? I, and that was at the height of Mary Kate's bulimia. I'm surprised he didn't just tear her apart like a damp tissue. Damn, dude. <laughs> Steinhager. Steinschlager. Mary is. Kate was, I don't think she's ever banged a guy that was worth less than $100 million. Am I right? I mean, it was me and Steinschlager, so yeah. I, Steinschlager. that's probably correct. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Just when I look back at this stuff, this is... This is to me. I'm getting flashbacks, dude. Like I just want to kick, kick, kick. You know, I just want to slide tackle. I just want to just, just shoot on the goal. I just, mm. It's just crazy to see this. Do you ever miss a penalty? A PK? Mm. Uh, me? Yeah. Never miss a PK, Dan A. So they used to call me. Really? Yeah, dude. What was your official statistic? I know you missed one. Come on. Are you sure about that, buddy? Not even we can pull it up Cameroon. right now. We can pull it up right now. Not even against Cameroon. Pull it up. Pull up my official PK tallies Damn. right now. Danny Molin? Yeah. Pull it up. Official PK tallies. I think he's on it. I think he's on it, yeah. We got Austin on it. You asked where I was from earlier. I'm from Austin. Danny Mullen, never. Never missed a PK Dan A. Except those cookies, dude. It's like fucking my site. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. I like all the I like the bitches they got on the screen with me. You like that? Scroll up to the top. I like it. uh, it's good to have some pussy. Top your thirty-five page. wives and girlfriends of famous footballers. Let's uh Let's get some stats here. Where are they? Come on, PK stats. Penalty goals, penalty goals. There it is. Let's see. Read it and weep, douchebag. Read it and nice. fucking weep. See that? Nice. 18 out of 19. It's pretty good. 18 dude. out of 19, dude. That's pretty good. Well, you want to talk about the miss at Cameroon? Why did you miss against Cameroon? All right. I, I know you like you hate for me to bring it up, but what was it about the guys? With Cameroon. Why, up, why dude. did you miss it? Why did you miss it against Cameroon, <laughs> dude? Why'd you miss it against Cameroon? Dude, they... Okay, so... Tell us the truth, dude. Dude, Cameroon... 
They've got some really, really gnarly pregame rituals. And you know their mascot's a lion, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, it was like fucking Gladiator. When they try to set up Russell Crowe to die when he fights the Emperor. Right. That lion, like they were fucking, they had a lion out on the field. Jesus. And he was just chained up behind the goal. And you know, you go to an American football game, they're like, miss it, fuck you, or whatever. Right. When there's a fucking lion that's being held by... You know what? Uh, you know how they train an elephant so they can just like throw the rope on the ground, and it's so used to being pegged that it just doesn't run away. Like that's what they do with the lion. They tr- they just they don't even tie it up. They just trust it to stay in one place. Fuck. And the Cameroonian fans are like throwing raw steaks at it and shit. Mm-hmm. And Dude, that's that sounds wild. I mean, I've seen the YouTube videos of it. I didn't believe it at first, but I did see these. People uh, don't understand how entertaining football gets overseas. I mean, we're talking lions. We're talking fireworks. Dude, especially when you're on the right. continent. When you're in Africa, too. Anything goes. <laughs> I mean, what, are the, what are the land rules? I mean, how many lions did they have? Or I mean, how many, how many did they go through for one season? Dude, I mean, it, it might as well be the Colosseum in Rome. There is no value on lion life, dude. <laughs> Like fucking twenty six lions, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> like twenty six fucking lions, dude. Do you understand, what dude? I'm there's saying? like, dude. <laughs> yeah. there's okay, so, that's yeah. that. That I roughly don't... look. I, I, this story trips me out because that there's about sixty games in a in a season, right? <laughs> they're killing one line every two fucking three games, man. Two ga- every what two are they games. Dying of? No, no, they're killing them, dude. It's Cameroon, dog. It, 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 they're, dude, Cameroon, bro. Like they fighting. just, they have so many of it. It's overrun by lines over there, it's, really. Instead of the half court shot, they'll bring a guy down who's like 30 years of age and hand him a spear. Mm-hmm. Those like, fight the lions. <laughs> They've been killing lions since biblical times. It's just yeah. in there. It's, it's, it's absolutely <laughs> atrocious, man. And there's a reason why you really can't find anything about it online because it's fucking well, it's a well kept secret. Pull it Shadow up. Pull, ben. pull it. Cameroon killed lions. Shadow Dead ben. lions, Cameroon. Shadow You'll ben. see some shit on it. They shadow ban. No, we can talk about it. It's, it's I mean, I don't, pl- I don't play anymore. Lion genocide. Cameroon killed lion. Here we go. Let's there are the this. villagers. Uh, wasn't that the name of your team? Here it is. Let's see. See, dude, it's all wishy-washy. It's kind of like what the media does with uh, stuff out here too, man. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Paul, you, uh, do you, what do you, where do you get your news? Uh, CNN or Fox or? My news, man. Let's see. I, I kind of just listen to what people are saying, like in public. Like I overhear <laughs> it's not things, bad, dude. Yeah. Well, this is this is great because now you are a well, you're made aware of what's going on in Cameroon at the fucking soccer games. That's wild. Yeah, dude. It's, yeah. That looks to be that one's young. That, I would say that one's like sad. Two years, couple months. Yeah. And yeah, they got him right underneath that left, mm-hmm. that uh, that right paw. That's the weak spot. It was the it was the half court thing. It was the halftime show. Mm-hmm. So there's just blood on the field yeah, afterwards. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It's grass. It's grass, and like, yeah, dude. If you you ever look at the shorts of like a soccer player and you see a little blood, like, and they, they, I'm telling you, man, they're never talking. They're going to talk about this publicly, but yeah, that's usually like animal blood and shit. Yeah. Over in Africa, I mean, it's a different wow. thing. Yeah, of course, in the Cameroonian league, there's regulations yeah. over here and shit. Wow. They yeah. believe like once you kill the lion. Like the the strength of the lion is transferred to the players. <laughs> I mean, they, it's funny because the well, the, the, the team the team uh, that that actually killed the most lions are they're actually towards the bottom of the league. You know what I mean? Um, what you would think that they'd be stronger, but they, I don't I don't think they get it at this point. But you wouldn't want to put your best players up against the lion, right? No. Exactly. Dude. I mean, it's usually fans. Have you ever read the Lion Witch in the Wardrobe though? I guess uh, the premiere of the Ugandan Football League, and a mm-hmm. lot of the games the Cameroon plays are over there. I guess he's a big C.S. Lewis fan. Have you ever read C.S. Lewis? Like no. Lion, Witch, the Wardrobe? Well, there was Chronicles of Narnia Night. <laughs> <laughs> dude, no, dude, you got to tell this story because it's wild. He, he dude. always laughs at his own joke. He no. does, man. Yeah, he's, he, Chronicles of Narnia Night, though, is pretty wild, dude. Yeah, I think dude. it's. I mean, I don't get it. Nah, I'm no, no, you got to tell us. You got to go can't. through a I mean, dresser to get onto the field. I, I, I can't, dude. It's something like that. I mean, they, dude, it's fucked up, dude. They encourage it. the fans to come out on the field. It's Cameroon versus Uganda. Mm-hmm. They want a fan to wrestle down and cut the hair off a full-grown male lion right mm-hmm. there in the middle. Of the Soccer is everywhere, so the, every country has different laws. They right. Crazy people sometimes. I mean, mm-hmm. Uganda, I'm not even sure they have a single law over there. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. All right, you guys want to continue with the program? 
Yeah, yeah let's get back to it. Just fucking dude. Wait, we weren't rolling the whole time. No, we we've been rolling, but it not we not in a, in a sense of recording. So we've been just rolling, dog. You dude, know what I'm saying, it, it, dude? Oh, I can't. Uh, I, that dude. When I say that stop down that Germany gave Brazil, I just the fuck. first thing. No. <laughs> hey. All right. Play ball. Yeah, count us in. Thank you. So, uh, Paul, oh. hey, hey ah, how you doing over there, man? Pretty fabulous. He's you got wanna... a nice studio here. Yeah. Thank you very much, Paul. You're you're a good guy, man. Well, thank you. All right. Are are you uh are you married, single? I'm married. Nice. You got any advice to for Doggo here? He's a real ladies man. Yeah. He doesn't want to settle down. Yeah. Well, it depends on the girl you're going for. What kind of girl are you going for, Doggo? Yeah. I'm Tell going, him about I'm, the girls. I'm going I'm going for a Springer Spaniel across the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, is she a frisky little little dame? She yeah. hasn't been spayed yet. Oh, I'm trying to get okay. in there. She's going her around with the neighborhood pit bulls? <laughs> get oh, down to the nitty gritty. I hope not. <laughs> well, do you know for a fact? Does she have an only dog? You gotta yeah. know. I, I saw her walking by with a cane corso, and I just I figured maybe oh. her, maybe her vagina is going to be a little bit looser, but there's still room for me in there. <laughs> Dude, a cane corso, man. Have you ever seen one of those in, in person, man? No. They're those. They're just absolute giant behemoth dogs. Yeah. I think it's the dog that was in. No, it's not. I was going to say the dog that was in the Sandlot, but it's not that dog. Yeah. Um, it's a, they're just giant dogs. Usually, uh, they're with a very big man, very scary, I- intimidating man. Usually, and then they have this guy on a chain. Yeah. It's it's like a pit bull on roids in a way. So, Paul, what do you do out here in Los Angeles? I'm an actor. Yeah. Yeah. You're pretty- gonna make it, kid. Well, thank you. I can see it. Do you have any uh, work we can check out? (laughs) Yeah, I'm on a Lifetime movie called Deadly Daughter Switch. Whoa. It's dope. And (laughs) there's a Doritos commercial I'm in. Oh, Uh, dope. Can we look it up? Yeah, yeah. Search. He's got Deadly Daughter Switch coming up. And then Doritos Doritos is, if you search Doritos Rodeo. Nice, dude. Well, you're bringing up your commercial, man. But I'm kind of, uh, I feel a little like you should have brought up the fact that I'm I'm right now in a national Little Caesars commercial. If you would have done your research. You you would have known that. I saw. Oh, good, dude, but there whatever. Oh, wow. That was me. Yep. On the right over there. On the right, yeah. And uh, I think you should have played the cowboy. I think this was bad uh, casting. Well, see, he was riding a horse, and they transformed it into a bear. Oh, my God. Uh, his name is Sterling. He's a killer. He's the a- other guy, he's Brian. When you say he's a killer, do you mean he killed the horse after he rode he, it? Actually, no. He was riding a bull. And right here, we're riding a horse. Dope, um, dude. This was a long commercial, man. <laughs> uh, that's actually the, the shortcut. Um, mm. But he he would ride this bull. I uh, like Cheetos better. You like Cheetos? Yeah. <laughs> I mm-hmm. love Doritos. I like Doritos. Oh, I like Cheetos better. Why are Cheetos they are riding good. bears? Yeah. Fuck Doritos. That's it's right. A, it's a weird concept. Yeah, Paul, it's, before it's, you walked in here, you were telling us how much you hated Doritos. Uh, no, no. I you would were never like, say that. You were like, fuck Doritos. I can't. I like round chips. You I, said Doritos <laughs> is responsible for the obesity in the United States and that, it like, you know what you should call them? You should call them Clogaritos. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> you did. Well, I mean, Pepsi and Coke are not good for you. It's poison. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I didn't say that, but I'll agree with the statement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and Doritos, <laughs> on the other hand, are pure health food. Yeah, right. Doritos. Uh, Paul, just say right now that Doritos are k- killing the youth. <sighs> a lot of things are. Doritos might be one of those things. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> he, he betray- Leo, Good. now, would you ever say something like that about Little Caesars? Little Caesars is the only pizza to actually use fresh dough. And then, uh, well, of the chains, of course, <laughs> they actually use fresh dough. And it's phenomenal pizza. And their sauce is actually, uh, it's award winning. It's from Italy. It's a marinara. So uh, enjoy it. Enjoy the, the pizza. The sauce. Pizza's great. It's from Italy, right? It's being. It's, it's, uh, it's all being imported. All it's of the ingredients. Imported. It's 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 even made. Yes. It's somewhere overseas, and they it's, ship it over. I'll tell you this: if somebody's giving you a pizza, little Caesars, it's an Italian guy. All right, it's a fucking guinea. It's a wop giving uh-huh. you the pizza. All right, you understand? <laughs> all right, good. That's good. So you would never say anything like like he just sold out his sponsor. You would, you would never do that. He's an idiot. That was years He's ago. A, this is a this is an absolute <laughs> amateur, Danny boy. Listen, this Paul, you got to you got to suck the dick of the companies that put money. See, that's the thing is I don't do that. That's what that's what makes making it hard. It's because I don't. Yeah, if you did do if you, ass, if you did some gay stuff for sure, kid, you'd go places. I'd tell you that tomorrow you might have a big opportunity. I I can okay. I've turned down several. I just man really um, turned down several. Oh, you got to tell several, us a story. Several well, times sucking several dicks. times not sucking dicks, <laughs> but, oh, okay. but just kissing dudes. It yeah. was always like you got to kiss the dude, and 
I told him it's like I, I just can't do it authentically. Yeah. Like I would love to get into it. You're married, or right? Oh. And I'm married. Yeah. Um, but it was before Dixie's that. Married. It was from before Texas. that. That's what it is. I'm from Texas, and we don't do that in Texas. <laughs> no, no. There's plenty of gay people in Texas. I'm from Austin. Oh, so yeah. It's yeah, very yeah. liberal. I knew um, like two gay people in Houston. Yeah, there you go. Everyone else is just secret. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't I mean, being a thespian, you meet gays every day. So well, listen. I uh, look. I know fucking a lot of big actors, dude. And I mean, I spent some time with some of the big wigs out there. Me and uh, you know Doggo here. Um, you know what, Danny? I think that you should warn the kid about the horrors of this of yeah. society because honestly, man, me and Danny have done some things that we're not proud of, dude. And like, yeah. I can't name names, dude, but. Let's just say I had to blow <laughs> my way into a contract and out of a contract numerous times, man. And it's 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 a lot easier than you think. You kind of just shut the door and you and go, "What do you what do you want?" And it's usually just. And we're yeah. just saying, Paul, me. like yeah. Paul, if you want to get ahead in the podcasting business, yeah, it'll serve you well to suck mine and Leo's dicks, right? Okay. Cut that out, obviously, but um, <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, look, I mean, it's not like we're gay or anything, but it's like it's it's. Well, you know. The thing is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't go down on the girl either. So it's not like, I'm, okay, listen, it's dude. not like I'm, you know, listen, dude, I get it. Like Oprah just, Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey goes, "I'll give you a million dollars to eat my pussy, kid." What do you do? You have to ask your wife. Would you ask your wife, or I would, I would tell my wife. I would say, "Look, Oprah Winfrey gave me a great opportunity. Oh. Please, just let me do this." Yeah, yeah, and that's she, smart. <laughs> We'll see what, what would she, she say? And uh, she would say, Oprah Winfrey, go for it. Nice. Come on. Just, and, and then do, would you have to split the cash with her, though? Well, that she's my wife, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, technically, you would, yeah, yeah. Automatically, you do, yeah. yeah. Just saying, in this town, kid, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not gonna, reasonable. It's not going to be mm -hmm. somebody like Oprah who's fronting the money. It's going to be some guys like me and Leo. And right. We just want a quick suck in the parking lot. And that's why I wouldn't do it. I get it, dude. I get <laughs> That's it. Why I'm a jerk a would be just as equivalent for me. I mean, would you take a hand job? I'd take a hand job from yeah. the kid. If Mick Jagger wanted me to lick his feet, I would consider that. Ah, well, fan uh, of the Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones. Nah. What's your favorite Stone song? Um, uh, the name escapes me. Um, it's um, Ain't Too Proud to Beg. Mm, what album's that off of? The uh, I don't know. Sing it. Ain't too proud to beg. All right, what's your second favorite Rolling Stones song? <laughs> um, but, 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 get Off My Cloud. What's your third favorite Rolling Stones song? Wow, this guy's a real fan, though, it's, because um, these are weird songs. I got Start Me Up, uh, baby. You know what I mean? That's start my me favorite. Up's good. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the names. Um, Tumbling dice. If you can't remember the names of the guy's songs and you still lick his feet, it seems like you should. I mean, he could just like you know take care of me and Leo real quick. <laughs> I'm a famous uh, football player for guys. You gotta hit. Well, see, that's the thing is you got athlete's foot. Uh, and, uh, 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 I'll give him some knocks on that one. <laughs> oh, okay. no, no sympathy <laughs> for this. So I, I don't know about your feet. Uh, I give your give your finger a suck. He, maybe he called me uh, an if that's what you if that's what you're into. A finger, dude. <laughs> a finger. Hey, suck. That's something, dude. <laughs> Oh, but something. Uh, I hope that when you're in front of the MG, you know, the guy running fucking one of the big studios, Warner Brothers or Universal, I hope that you remember the little lesson that we taught you here. And that's to so suck the dick, then sign then sign on the dotted line. <laughs> I got to sign first. You should write that right, down. Suck first. the dick, sign work? on the dotted line. You got experience that in down. this. Is that I that down. Right. Does it work? I mean, look, I, I live in a world of, Austin, of luxury. We, 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 can, we can put it on pause real quick. Yeah, yeah. I live in a world of luxury, you know what I mean? And, like, uh, I'm... I uh, I'm pretty much get whatever I want, dude. And like, look, some of my close friends that know that I suck the dick and shit. I mean, they make fun of me. You know what I mean? They talk shit. But uh, at the end of the day, dude, you know what I mean? I got a fucking button right next to my bed that I press and these curtains fucking open up and I got a view of the ocean and I got a view of downtown L.A. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so what they if I sucked a, a dick to get there? They call that a jetliner view. That's right. I can't see, but everyone says you look gay when you're with your clothes or whatever. Fuck. I mean, yeah, they do in the comments. I love the other thing about leopard print. I know, man, yeah. <laughs> People, kind of a, I'm kind of just starting to break barriers with what I wear, you know what I mean? got to. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. I was playing soccer in the sedan once, and it was, you know, the shit they're trying to push on everybody. Like, you as a married man and a guy from Texas probably drives you crazy, but they're trying to push the whole, like, LGBTQ plus IA stuff. Right. Right. So I'm wearing my pride patch. I'm out there. I'm playing in the fucking sedan, mm -hmm. and all these, like, hardcore Christian African dudes are just calling me, like, every racial slur under the sun. 
And <laughs> finally, I just I went up there. This ten year old boy just kept. Going. He's like, oh my, oh my, oh my. Mm -hmm. And I just went there. I just fucking wrestled him, wrestled him <laughs> down into our stands. And yeah. I just I took the Gatorade cooler and I just smashed him. Mm -hmm. Just just destroyed the kid with the. There's only ho cool. so many hard Fs, if you know what I mean, that you can you can listen to but before you just have to strike someone. You know I what mean, I mean? You don't even have to be gay. They're gonna send us into Africa. Yeah. Can we pull up some of my highlights, Austin? Just straight Danny Mullen um soccer highlights. Nice, nice spelling. Socor. No, this is this is just when I was skydiving. This is a good blog. <laughs> I do a lot of social media. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, this one hurts my ears. Let's go, dude. That was, it, it looked surprisingly easy, dude. Wait, replay that? Yeah, let's replay slow it that. down. Let's yeah. slow it down. What did you do here? So you got, you're just fucking wide open. Well, and they just toss you, like the goalie literally looked like he, he just left. Yeah. I mean, Tommy Rourke. Why Tommy. was he on the floor over there, Tommy? Wait, replay one more time. Yeah, dude, but where, yeah, so the goalie just says, fuck me in the mouth, bye. Okay, so Tommy Rourke is the guy on my team who made the shot. Yeah. And the goalie, his name was Finnegan McDougal. He's the guy Finnegan. who took it out. And he just committed, he sold out on the shot. Mm -hmm. And then when Tommy passed it to me, I had a clear lane to the goal. And it was that just can't taking, be real. That was just taking candy from a baby. Let's pull up another clip. Well, you got to see it to believe it, right? Let's pull up another clip. <laughs> This was a good game. You can, yeah. can you explain to me? This was a little scrimmage. So somebody passing the ball, he's right in front of the uh -huh. goal. Yeah. He, just, he just tapped it in with his pinky toe. Well, this this oh. is... Uh, oh, bam. bam. Oh, oh dude. So you tapped it in. Are you left-footed or right-footed? I'm ambidextrous when I play. Really? Yeah, I'm ambidextrous. So left... I mean, you don't even prefer one foot or the other? To be honest with you, Leandro, nah. Wow. It's just whatever it takes. Keep looking down. Yeah, there's we do a lot of vlogging, too. A lot of vlogging. Let's get uh, some of the soccer stuff. No. Yeah, dude, I mean, just seems like vlogging starting to, I mean, we're doing a lot of that since I played, but here we go. That's an interview with me. Turn it up. I want to hear what I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds different. What was your relationship with the media like? Who is? What's that? I can't hear you. What was your relationship with the media why, like? Why are, you, why are you interrupting me? Sorry, man? dude. Fucking. So, good to get on and, and get a go. I mean, it was a little adversarial. I, that. I mean, yeah, bro. I mean, when you were playing against Montrose, though, I mean, I mean, that was like a big game, right? It's, it's the fucking that was my Super Bowl, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sound different than you do now, too. In your hair, I can see it looks the shadows a little different. I can't do this, Paul. That's not me. I was about to say, <laughs> I think I, I literally caught Bowl, on right before you said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm it took you this, that long. I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, he's changed a <laughs> yeah, lot. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. Dude, I mean, yeah, I dude but like, 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 dude, the, the uh, this guy, your DNA strand with this guy is kind of close, though. <laughs> it's not like, that far dude, off. Dude, it's not. Like, your you nose. Yeah, it's not that far dude, off. Your nose and, like, a lot of things, honestly. His accent, I could not. I mean, no, that, that should have been the giveaway. Danny, I'm making your debut. Yeah, yeah the files. accent, too. Danny. I know, let's hear it. I could do that. That yeah, one's, like, an English accent, choice. but his is yeah, Scottish or something. How is this thing? Yeah, because it is Scottish, it is. Um, it was nice to get on the score sheet as well. Um, no, I played, saw... Played well and, That's a hard um, accent to do. I so hard. An impression. Yeah, I played well. We saw the stat sheet. I was out there. It was, I was pointing the ball around, and I had to go wiggle past the goalie. But That's I wiggle past the goalie, That's and then I, good. I was able that to, is him, I to save a couple of shorts. <laughs> what if you went to a soccer game impersonating the other Danny Muff? Dude, oh he, I already told the story that he's the man, dude. Yeah. He, like He's the fucking man. I've, him and I have DM'd a little bit. He's mm -hmm. dope. But Leo, you follow this guy, don't you? Yeah, of course. Man. Okay, so yeah, that's yeah. how I got confused because uh, I looked up Danny Mullen, and I—that's I, the first one I clicked. And then today, when I looked him up again, uh, all I saw was comedian. I was like, "What happened to the Scottish footballer thing?" Oh, uh, I can. And then I was I confused. <laughs> no. A lot of people get confused. It's it's a, the old name switcheroo. Yeah. You know? All the stories we told you about Cameroon versus Uganda are true, though. They, they're killing lions. Yeah, <laughs> Twenty six, <laughs> dude. It just went through some lions, man. It's wild. So 
So you are a football fan. Yeah, he's a football fan. Oh, yeah, if you would have known about fan. the Cameroon stuff, oh, if it wasn't. If right. I mean, I dude, it's I live and die on the football pitch. Yeah. European football, soccer, yeah. I love it so yeah. much, dude. Dude, it's wild that you. I mean, you can watch the. A lot of people ask, like, how do you watch the Cameroon league? It's it's on a closed circuit television uh, thing. You have to just. It's kind of like pay per view. You buy it, but then you get you know the full experience. But they, if you record any of it, you're just banned um, immediately. So they keep it all a secret. <laughs> you know, it's pretty wild, man. <laughs> it's just like. You know, I, I mean, mean, so what do you think? Of, what do you think of like, uh, what do you think about the United States and the future of their like football and soccer as as far as far as a nation? Do they have a chance in the World Cup and stuff? I just think you can't compete, dude. It's just they start too young overseas. Like, yeah, it's just. I mean, in in Cameroon and Uganda. Yeah. I mean, you got two career paths basically. No. Professional footballer or child soldier, and. You know, they're both right. they're both taken to with as much rigor as the other, and they're just as dangerous, both of them. Right. Yeah, I've heard you get killed if you if you mess up on a play or something. Oh, you, and that's, cost the game. you get killed. So, not only that, dude, but flogged, humiliated, you know, sexually yeah. uh, um, molested, you know, to I, say the least. Some of the refs, you've heard about the refs in South America getting killed for fucking up calls. Dude, right. imagine, imagine if you're a child out there playing soccer in Uganda. I mean, that's how you get thrown to a lion, dude. If well, you if you get crossed up by a defender, right, well, he steals the ball. I know you don't like talking about it, but like, um, um, what does happen to a guy that like misses a penalty kick over there? Uh, well, uh, first of all, you know what a puff adder is? No, actually, what is a puff, a puff adder? adder is, it's, it's, so this is a fun fact. Almost all the world's poisonous snakes are a huge concentration of them, or in, oh. or in Africa and Australia. So, I mean, basically, what they're going to do is. They call it uh, the old uh, the old puff adder punt, and what they do is they take your socks, your Adidas socks, in your mm-hmm. locker, and they put a puff adder in. And then so you you're like, uh, hey, guys, so we're gonna go out there and have a good game. And you pull your socks on, and you're you're stepping on a puff adder. Oh my Dang. god! I mean, how often is it biting? I mean, it's, it's sometimes you kind of just like, oh, dude, I got him out before he bit him, and sometimes, or is it like a hundred percent? It's gonna bite you. <laughs> 50-50. 50, 50. 50, 50. Yeah. So you got a chance. Yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily... I mean, if it's got its head down at the toe. Like, anybody ever have a bad reaction to getting bit? Dude? Yeah, I mean, you die pretty much instantly. Jesus it's a puff adder. Christ, yeah. dude. And then what do they say? It was an accident? I mean, I'm sure they just label it an accident. So you get, there, are no, me- there are no records of death over there. But l- let's talk about these people now. Uh-huh. These people. So you guys, they have an OnlyFans. Do you want to show... Do you mind taking a look at their OnlyFans, sir? Is that, want me to pull it up? No, no well, they, they'll they'll yeah. show you a video, and I want you to describe what it does to a straight male, a straight white male, because that's what you are, um, to the blind gentleman that does the OnlyFans. It would be a really – he's been asking for a long time, and I think we're just too close to do it for him because I don't want to disrespect him and watch his girl – him, you know, plow his girlfriend. But if you would – and kind of just describe what's going on and what it what you think is uh, you know the good and the bad the pros and cons of the scene per okay, se. Sure, sure. Look at it from a yeah. direct directorial eye. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Show me your favorite video, yeah, guys. Let's see, let's see what we got. Well, well, you just kind of can she help you find it? You go yeah. over there. She'll help me. Yeah. All right. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Go over there. Find the scene. Take a piss. Do whatever sure. you got to do. It's exciting. So. <laughs> so Paul, you've um, you've shat on Doritos. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you, uh, what else have you been trying to get going? Well, uh, I do comedy, uh, um, yeah. and I've, I've done a few shows now. I started doing it about three or four months ago, so I'm relatively fresh to mm-hmm. the scene. Um, but I'd say I'm getting along pretty, pretty quick. How old are you? I'm 27. Hmm. Okay. And I also do modeling. Um, what else do I do? Do you follow the word of God? I do. Um, I mean, I haven't read the Bible. I haven't sat down and read it. But my mm-hmm. whole life, I was Catholic, and I was yeah. doing like Sunday school. That's dope, and man. all that stuff. You're a good man. So, I, I mean, can tell. You're a good man. I just saw God within you, and I wanted to say that. Now, go ahead and watch the video and tell us what you think. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to turn the volume down. Let's see. So he's she's feeding him food. She's okay. wearing a Hooters outfit. Okay. It says TikTok oh, at wow. the bottom. Okay. Uh, still wearing the Hooters outfit. They're in bed now. Okay. This is a 13 minute video. Okay. Let's Keep going. See. It's so, fine. He's when, got no shirt. She's still wearing the Hooters outfit. Oh, wow. They're kind of like cuddling, but okay. Now they're not cuddling anymore. She's like showing her butt, kind of. Yeah. Okay. They're, yeah. She's pulling up her, her, uh, okay. And then it says TikTok. 
And now they're back it's at overboard some fans bar or something. On OnlyFans. Yeah, follow overboard. overboard fans. I don't overboard have overboard fans on OnlyFans, guys. <laughs> overboard <laughs> fans. Go ahead. OnlyFans is specifically for porn, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can put whatever you want on there. Actually, Sandrine, right. our favorite girl, Sandrine from Vegas, and now it lives in Florida. She only puts like uh, things ranting about you and and Mia's relationship on, on OnlyFans. Yeah. Do people pay for that? Yes, I think that she at least has a couple customers. Should we call her right now? I think so, man. I think so. As you complete, continue to review that, I'm just going to straight call The other her Danny Mullen's a handsome fella. I mean, he's a, yeah, he, he's I mean, a stud. He's got a great jawline. He's, he's a, a stud, dude. <laughs> he's definitely a pimp, dude. See, this this video has no sex in it. So it gets there. As a porn director, I'd have to uh, so far not doing not, not doing, doing anything well. for me just yet. And and the camera's all over the place. Um, uh, personally, I like to shoot vertically. Sometimes when he does the video, I mean he horizontally, can't see, so it doesn't come out. There. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, right. so I are we calling her up? Yeah. Give me less points. Or I'll, I'll take. Hey, can less you fast forward to where they're having sex overboard? Well, I know it's time. Maybe maybe Alex can How do it. How many minutes in do y'all start having sex? Keep going. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to five. You can cut. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there now, all right. So she he's just touching her. He's you know, just touching her butthole a little bit. Okay, wow. nice. There nice. we go. Vagina, One vagina second, Paul. Action. We're calling up a uh, woman who thinks my girlfriend's a lizard. All right. Speak up, Sandrine. I, I just happen to have my, uh, what's it called, the silencer uh -huh. off. Listen, I... I have Danny over here, and he's worried about what you said. You said that Mia is using black magic? Sex magic. Black yeah, sex child, magic. No, no, no. I mean, uh, before I even say anything, I, yeah. want, I want, I want, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to talk to Danny <laughs> on these terms like this. I want to talk to him off what? the pod and off. I want We're to not... actually have a saner friendship with him. Sandrine, I appreciate that what you're saying, but your relationship with Danny is so important to so many millions of people out there that it yeah, is. What it's about my own feelings, Danny? Aww. I love you. I love you, Danny. Oh, I love my. you too, Sandrine. Jesus, and you, you guys know, are. Is, is this a one sided thing? Just let me know so I can move on. Because I don't want to do this anymore, Danny. Sandrine, I. I'm about to cry. Don't cry, Sandrine. Sandrine, Stop. I just, I just want to call about the sex magic. Sandrine, no, listen, Danny, listen. I love you. Sandrine, listen. I can't do this. I can't do this, Leo. Sandrine, I don't I cry. Danny. Sandrine, don't cry. Let me tell you something about Danny Mullen. <laughs> That's what it does. That's what football and comedy will get you. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Danny Mullen. He pees in a fucking goddamn bottle uh, every single night, three times a night. You want to live mm -hmm. with that? Do you know that I peed into a baggie 15 times a night because I had no... I have an interstitial cystitis and a bladder condition, and I had no way of going to the ladies' room because of my my living situation so what him peeing into a bottle is the least of my problems wow uh what about the <laughs> fact that he likes to defecate in his bed at least two or three times a year it's not it's a real thing I, I, he doesn't want me to bring it up but i'm bringing it up again if that was really true i wouldn't care i don't care i unconditionally love danny and i can't take it anymore like i can't i can't not like it's either it's either he if I see him again, he has to be single. Well, okay. Well, then how do you how do you think he's going to get? I'm trying to help him. How do you think he's going to get out of the black sex magic you, spell? Tell her, tell if her, you don't so, tell us what it is and tell okay, us, okay, help okay, us. Tell her she okay, tell her she's us. on the podcast. She's going to help us. Tell her she's on the podcast. You're on the podcast, by the way. You have to help us. Uh, yeah, of course I am. So tell us anyway, about the black uh, sex magic. Okay, so a few weeks ago, Danny had talked. I think this was when he was at his mom's house. He had said on a Patreon live um, that... Um, recently, after, this was right after Danny had just seen me. Apparently, Danny was sleeping in his bed, and he's asleep, and Mia gets on top of him and mounts him while he's asleep. So he's unconscious, semi-unconscious, okay? Yeah, right. And she starts, like, riding Danny, that's a, that's right? What okay, chicks so do to me, Paul. The thing is, is that yeah. he is now, the fact, first of all, she was pro she was trying to say oh, he's while he's semi unconscious she can he dude. doesn't fully have his wits <laughs> and his um, perception mm -hmm. about him. he's like mm -hmm. unaware Sounds he's like not college. of his surroundings he's unaware he's like he's he's like subconscious yeah he's, he's like in the he's shadow realm sleep yeah. yeah he's like in the, he's sleeping now so this that's how someone can take advantage of someone when they're asleep so she 
probably did some black sex magic ritual like oh you're mine you're not gonna Sandrine's not gonna take you from me I'm gonna ride you and I'm gonna do all this we- I'm, I'm sure she she just it just seemed very odd the fact that he was asleep I was like okay that's a big red flag he's not even consciously yeah. aw- barely aware uh like because he's asleep mm-hmm. kind of did it without uh, his consent all right too. well what's stopping you from doing the same thing Sandrine Let's cut to the chase. That you want to win his his heart or not? <laughs> if if I haven't won it already, I don't know if Danny's the one for me. Well, listen, when you were ripping that jet ski forty five <laughs> miles an hour and you fucking slid it under the sand, I mean, look, a lot of people fell for you out there. Yeah, many people I don't fell care for about you. Any, the, the, you know, there's only there's only so many people that I can have love for in this world, and I'm very picky, and Danny. Was was very lucky to be one of those men. So you're very sweet, I mean, Sandrine. And listen, and I know that the, your prince is out there. Stop putting your eggs in all in one basket. Like Danny Mullins, it's a solid basket, but like, listen, it's got it's got some holes. It's got some holes in it too. You know what I mean? Those eggs are falling out of the bottom of it sometimes. Tell her about the time at the petting zoo. Did Danny even watch the reel I did with Mia? Why don't you guys watch that on the pod right now? The full reel that I made of Mia literally shape-shifting her eye and then the other content that follows the it was, uh, look we all watched it together and we all agreed that it's extremely disturbing it's, it's disturbing not it's also definitive proof that she is a lizard person but we don't know what to do with it because he's still in, her, in the spell you know what i mean like danny got drunk with me that night that we found out that she was a lizard person right yeah and uh we drank and he told me he's like i don't really give a fuck that she's a lizard like he he was hammered and he's like listen I don't care that she's a lizard. I'm. St- uh, it, the pussy feels good. You know what I mean. So he's yeah. in the, he's in the no, spell. And for and you know, Danny, there's a chance that uh, she also could be transgender. She might not be a biological woman. That's I'm just saying. That. What a do lot you of have these to say to that, are Danny? Transgender. You know, it's um, it's. Uh, I'm not one to judge. You know, I'm uh, I'm I'm. We already established. I'm LGBTQ plus IA oh, now, God, he, dude. You, you know how he's he's a. You know how Danny's a big. Danny's a big soccer fan, Sandrine. I don't know if you know that about him. And, but, so, uh, and, and we're telling Sandrine that we're starting to like, I mean, you and I, like, we're thinking about going to the Pride March. You and I oh, both uh, have Pride Progress flags in our rooms. We're, we're sort of like rainbow bros now. Yeah, Sandrine, listen, we're, we're, we're trying to just come into the, you know, <laughs> really kind of lean into the fact that it's a new world out there. And if every single one of my son, my future son's teachers is transgender and every single one is telling him that there is no gender and that he has to, you know, I don't know, experiment with some cocks. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, Sandrine, it doesn't matter. You know, no. do you understand what I'm saying? You know, I kind of, you know, these subjects are so, my time with Danny is so precious because he doesn't give me the time that other people give me, unfortunately, because mm-hmm. I because he has a girlfriend and he is busy and it's mm-hmm. unfortunate. So anything else you guys talk about that has no that has no merit to me, I just zone out and I could care less. I'm sorry, you guys are talking about dicks and transgender, and now I'm thinking <laughs> of all this other stuff that I need to address to Danny because I have him on the line and it's almost all right. Like, but part of me is like, you know, what's the point, Danny? Like I don't. Sandrine, you know, say something <laughs> helpful. Danny. Okay, Sandrine, fine. tell us, Danny, how does he get out of the spell? It, it's up to him. It's his own free will. Jack had a similar situation. You know, I see so much in da- Jack and Danny. The thing is, is that Jack <laughs> actually, he, he, what Jack is doing is, what Jack did is so much what Danny's doing with Adam-22, where mm. Danny pay, works for Adam-22, doesn't get paid a cent. By the way, Jesus. Um, it, it, that happened with Jack. Jack worked for a very famous man who was on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, um, and Jack did not get paid any money. Why did she, she think I don't get paid? His Sandrine, he, in multiple he, homes throughout the West Coast. Jack was totally taken advantage of, manipulated, used. Uh, he probably was his yeah. boss's wife's sex slave. Probably. Well, I listen, be Sandrine, surprised. sex is the key anyway, word there. You know, because Danny Adam, does get to have. Danny, why are you? Why are you with Adam Twenty Two, like working with this idiot? She thinks he's a Freemason. Oh yeah, she, oh because he of the is. Bill Clinton thing. Yeah, and his yeah, last name is Mason. Yeah, there's a lot of things, and I showed, I sent Danny that video. Wait, can, I talk, can I talk? Can I talk to Sandrine? With him and his wife, where she, she said, he says, "Oh yeah, you didn't know," and it was totally dead serious. And he got into you know, uh, I will the thing about Adam that has been kind of weird is like his dad. Um, and t- he, oh yeah, let's address something else. Forget about his dad and everything else. How about how he? 
way he treated me regarding me and you you laughed adam literally says i hope she dies before he knew anything about me no no i i apologize for that about that but i just you never did when you saw the stories no i apologize stories you didn't do anything you didn't do shit danny you didn't fight for me didn't take responsibility for anything you did and it was very hurtful and i don't appreciate that and since you're still with mia i will never see you again until you're single and because it's gonna break my heart and the thing is is that you For you to even see me again, I I can't have you being in a relationship with Mia. Okay, so don't bother coming to Florida again in 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 the with the intentions of seeing me. It's not going to happen. I love you too much, but I also love you, myself too much to hurt myself and not put up boundaries where need well, be. Well, this okay? is one of like. 40 women that do the stand like every week, dude. I told you. I told you I fucked his girlfriend, his yeah, girlfriend, up, Victoria Beckham. I got him. Uh, so, so now we're just not, we're just going to ignore everything I just said. No, we just, we're trying out a guy for third mic and I just want to make sure he understands oh I get pussy. God. Did you not hear anything I just said, Danny? She heard everything. I heard everything. And you Sandrine. Heard. I got to give her the bad bitch <laughs> speech. <laughs> Sandrine, I love you too. Sandrine, I love you. Okay, I no, love you. Don't. Yeah, no, Sandrine, I have so, so much. I have. I have so much love for you. Yeah, but you. You don't just tell me like like. So d- when you see me again, are you? Go- you're probably still going to be with Mia, right? Is that your plan? Is to see me again while you're still in a relationship with Mia? Yes or no? Yeah, you know, yeah, Leo so and I were thinking about happen. coming out there, but Leo's single. What about having sex with Leo? I'm sorry, I shouldn't uh, put it like that. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that if we're not in a relationship. Leo and I would have to be. In a relationship, probably because I don't think that'd be healthy. For I me. could never settle for second thi- place because I would know that I'm second place in your heart, Sandrine. I could never, I, 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 I could never, it, it, we could never have anything. We've had, you know, Sandrine, I, you're a very attractive woman, and there's no denying right. that. Dino talks about it consistently. It's pretty <laughs> wild how often Dino talks about how hot you are, but like he's always like, Dude, you guys are fogging up, dude. I would have taken that V card so quick. That's what he always okay. says. That's I never sweet. heard him say um, that. So, Danny, you're just going to stay with Mia then so I can just Listen, move Listen, nobody, and... nobody can see the future, Sandrine, but let me tell you something. I think Oh, I have you... a great idea. Since I, Okay, let me let, – Leo, hold that thought. I want to say this before I forget. Great video idea for Danny. Okay. I broke up with my girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Video <laughs> idea. Good. Really? In <laughs> film? I mean, it is a good... I mean, it would get views. It's, Let's be it's honest. in the spirit of the Danny yeah. Mullen channel. <laughs> it really yeah, is. I got her dog shit for her birthday. You should actually fake break up with your girlfriend on the, on Valentine's yeah, would, Day. That's fake. That would just... That would make... That would break my heart even more. Oh, yeah. Sandrine, I don't, I don't listen. To, at the end of the day, I, Danny kind of likes that he's dating a reptilian because it probably means uh, that he's going to be one of the elites. Do you not understand that he's fucking oh yeah, drunken no, with power? Yeah. He's oh drunk yeah, with power. power. Well, yeah, he'll, he'll lose his soul and it'll be horrible. He'll have no, he won't have freedom of speech. By the way, you guys really need to look into Elon Musk. That guy's with the cabal. Even though this whole freedom of speech thing is just to get some of the right wingers on his side. And there's a whole – you guys need to research who he really is and what – the symbolism and everything else about this guy. This guy's just like, he's a, um, I guess you could say controlled opposition, but you guys has, are uh, has, fooled. Has just Adam like 22 been to Andrew Epstein's Tate. Island? Andrew Tate's similar yeah. thing, but hey, hey, listen, Elon Musk is definitely for sure. Sandrine, I want to talk to you about this because listen, uh, a- Adam's dad, Adam's dad was on the Epstein flight logs. Adam, 22 mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and he's also he was in skull look and bones what become danny look what you've become you, you you date a fucking lizard you're now working with a freemason cabal elitist well it's just i mean i'm trying to work this out his dad so his dad was definitely at the island and he was definitely in skull and bones with george hw at yale I'm thinking those two are things you, right there are, are pretty suspicious. Are you lying to me right now? No. Or actually being serious? No, that's serious. I was telling okay, Leo that. That, that, that is troubling. very disturbing. That I know, is extremely yeah. disturbing. Yeah. Because I know all about that. Yeah, and it's it's pretty bad. And I mean, and, and he, he only went to the island you, a couple what, times. I, okay, yeah, I don't know if that, I don't know if that, uh, you could be lying about that. I see, uh, Danny, what you're doing, you know, I know you're all about entertainment purposes, so I don't know what 
It's true what isn't, but the thing is, Danny, is that I really can't see you again if you're going to be with Mia. Yeah. I mean, I just, the perks of being a Mason are pretty good. Like, Adam's already talking. Oh he already God. taught me the handshake. Should I just hang up? But, like, but no, no, but like, Mia, why do you think I'm lying? I, I, oh, I just called you oh, Mia. I'm sorry. I just called you Mia. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just, Sandrine. Mean, you see me as your girlfriend? Is that why you keep calling me? Mia? Sandrine, I just. You see me as your girlfriend? Sandrine. I, I just, I want to become, I'm tired yes, of fighting. I just, like, Adam 22, he's, <sighs> like, he's been giving, he gave me the ritual book. I've been memorizing the incantations. I think if I just join the Elites. I think it's going to be a good thing for the Danny Mullen regime at the end of the day. Yeah, I, I, I don't even. Half of me really thinks you're joking, and the other half is like skeptical and like, what if you're telling the truth? So I don't know, Danny. I don't know what to say because I don't even know what you're telling me is if it's a lie or not. Well, so. I mean, I, if I join the fucking elites, I can, I can live forever. You know, you can't. Yeah, I can. So you're all down with this whole child. You know, they're all for child rape, child. Child porn, the I mean, whole Balenciaga uh, thing—that's just a—that's just the tip of the iceberg, Danny. I, I mean, do you, do you, if you knew half the stuff I know, you would be staying eighteen thousand fucking million miles. I don't—I can't even talk. Millions of miles away from Adam Twenty Two. If you knew the stuff I knew, I mean, like one of his assistants—they like he—he he gave me like child porns weekly, and. It was like I flipped through a couple of the pages because, like, the elites, yeah, okay. they, they just yeah, have a periodical. I'm sure, I'm sure now you're it's really just they just, joking now. They just have so. a periodical. They, I mean, it's like Playboy <laughs> for child porn, and you can watch it. And uh, So this is um, sad. This is very sad. Just, just You're not even addressing what I wanted to talk about. Danny, did you even watch the full reel? You know, I did, and I, I know fucking I, – I know she's a lizard, but she gives good top. <laughs> And, and you don't think someone else could do that? I mean, it's just, I, I'm a guy of habit. Like, I mean, she just makes me a TV dinner and she domes me up and it's, it's just fun. You know, I don't, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's a, this is so sad. This is, it's like, I mean, oh she fucking, she, she climbs up on top of a rock after I come and I, I wake <laughs> oh her up the next God. morning and get stuck again. <laughs> All right, Sandra, we got to end the pod. We can talk soon though. <laughs> Like how and in what capacity and what you don't even you don't even talk to me anymore. Like you become cold and silent. Like Sandrine, I haven't been on Instagram in two days. I never go on Instagram. No, I'm talking about text messages and or any or any of my voice. By the way, your voice your voicemail box is full day on your cell phone. It's probably from all the voicemails I left in December. But yeah, I'm just letting you know you no one can leave a voicemail on your. And maybe you're just keeping to re-listen to in the secret when Mia's gone because you like him so much. I don't possibly. know. It's <laughs> just John Kerry's been calling me Klaus Schwab. Him and I had to talk over some business. They wanted me out in Davos this weekend. Do, do you have any empathy though for my feelings, Danny? I, I do. I do. That. But I, yeah, I do. Do you? Do you understand that it's heartbreaking for me to be in love with someone who I feel you have some sort of affinity for me, but yet you're in a relationship with a person that could care less about your sanity or survival and having it is like, do you, do you see, do you see this at all? Yeah. Sandrine, I, Leo and I are going to come visit you soon. Are you just okay? blind? No, no. Leo blind. and I are going to come visit you soon. We'll make up and for all you know, this. No, I'm not, not going to see. I don't want to see you, Danny. If you're with me, uh, if you're still with me, I can't see you. I cannot. I I can't bear to do that to myself. It's gonna. You're gonna see me crying Dude. next time you see me, and I'm gonna go into an Uber, and that'll be that. Just, That's what's gonna happen. Just because I get my balls drained by a fucking lizard. <laughs> I, I almost kissed you before I said goodbye to you. <laughs> Sandrine, we give it to me. There's... Sandrine, let me tell you something. You know what time it is? It's bad bitch o'clock time. Get your life together. You don't need this, man. You're better than that. No, oh, I just landed a very good job, but it's just... It's, Congratulations. It doesn't matter, though. I want to be with the men that makes me happy. And, you know, when I, after I had the second shoot with Danny, with Fear and Loathing, I realized, oh, my God, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I just really, like, that was my passion. It's like, oh, wow, I actually also, there's a, there, this, at this time, you were just a friend to me, Danny. But I was like, oh, this is a lot of fun doing this with him. And what if I, I said really it. that I could orchestrate a meeting between you and Andrew Tate? I don't care. I don't want to see. I don't, I don't like him anymore because I found out all this disturbing and alarming information about Andrew Tate, and I don't like him anymore. 
However, some of the things he says is true, but of course that's how cults get you. And he's like a cult leader. He's a scammer. He's a horrible, he's a horrible, um, you know, if you look into how people like religion starters and cult leaders, they have a whole method of, you know, they'll say something that's true. So right, they listen, get listen, the public right. to agree Sandrine. with it. And then they... Uh, you're very. You, I know you're well versed on the, the the cult stuff and everything, but listen, <laughs> you don't need Danny. All right, I mean, you know what I'm saying. I, you don't I need would him. Like him. I, would I like get him. that you would like him, but there's gonna there's got to be a prince out there that's gonna really, really just I mean, complete your heart. The only person that the only person I could really uh, like, like okay, like th- there's two other guys I could probably see myself with if it, if okay. we were compatible. And that would be Leo oh, wow. and Nick Simmons. Nick <laughs> Simmons. Who the fuck Nick is? Major TV? Wait a second. Who's Nick Simmons? Uh, Gene Simmons' son, possibly. But I don't really have. I don't have romantic feel. I mean, I, Leo. I mean, I, I've, I've wait, wait, wait. Uh, is, is Nick gorgeous. Simmons the fitness and, YouTuber? You know, your <laughs> wait, is it really hit it off? Wait I mean, a second. We're talking like, Nick Simmons, the fitness YouTuber. Impossible. No, 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 no. We're about to he's, find he's out. Gene Simmons take... from Kiss the Son. Well, is his son a fitness YouTuber? No, that's that's the Richard Simmons. No, this is Nick Simmons. He's killing it. 220 <laughs> K on its newest video. I don't think you're looking at the right one. I don't know. His Literally. Instagram is he's has a mask on his Instagram oh. picture. He's wearing a mask. <laughs> anyway. But he's cute, but I don't I don't know if we would be compatible. This guy. The thing is, oh, is he's that a stud. I just want to be with a man that I feel comfortable with. Danny was someone that I could easily see myself taking my clothes off in front to and doing whoa, a lot of whoa, whoa. tantric six, and eight, wonderful whoa. sensual movements on his body too. And, okay. Wow. And straddling and whoa. a lot of fun stuff. Whoa. <laughs> wow. There you go. There you go. Well, Sandrine, right. we got to wrap the pot up, but thank you so much. Uh, listen, you don't need Danny. You're fine. Uh, check in with us and let us yeah, know how no, the job's going. You know, going. I'm not fine if I'm in love with a man that's taken, Leo. Let's just be honest. Let's face the facts Let's be honest. Here. Being lovesick is the best way to live your life. I've been lovesick for years. It's great. You wallow in your sadness every now and then, but it drives you forward, Sandrine. It gives you a reason to get up and go kill the, seize the day. Carpe diem. Don't That's ever. What my brother says all the time. Yeah, being love so six the best. Uh, well, if Leo and like I Van ever, Gogh. you know, yes. well, Danny, you know, I actually thought of this too. Like, Danny could make Try me so sad if he comes to see me when he's still in a re- relationship with me. I might just have revenge sex with Leo, though. So. Wow. Well, <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna. I actually don't want to do that though because I w- I don't want to lose my virginity. Then Leo disappears and I don't see him again for another. Right. Six you would never months, do so that. That'd be really annoying. I would be there for you, and we, I would hope that you would get impregnated, and we would raise that child. <laughs> Sandrine, would you? Leo, do you want, yeah. Would you give Leo head in a Little Caesars parking lot? That's so funny. <laughs> 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 I am a Little Caesar star, as you know. Um, what? I'm a Little Caesar star, as you know. Yeah, you are. You're so cute. All right, Sandrine, <laughs> listen to me. Go and uh, and no, you know. one other thing. Okay. Did Danny see the reel fully? With the friends? Uh, the I'm going to pull it up. I'll pull it up and I'll talk to you, Sandra. We have to end the pod. I'm pulling it up the right pod, so I'll talk. One other thing. Maybe Danny review my Instagram again. Just saying that. Sure All right. She'll, sure. He'll check it out. All right, Sandra. See you, Sandra. It was beautiful Thank talking you. to you, Sandra. You're the best. Uh, Overboard, you got a uh, pitch. I mean, you, you gave us an unbelievable segment with your story. I uh, And both of you guys did. It was pretty incredible. But... Uh, you know, uh, yeah. tell us about your OnlyFans real quick. So it's tell us how to find it, and then so we'll walk fans. you to your car downstairs. OnlyFans are overboard fans. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Overboard fans. Dope. Overboard fans. And you get, he he gets one hundred percent of the profit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, he Paul, doesn't share with me. No, Paul. What do you what do you want to plug here? Plug. Um, I'm gonna follow you on Instagram too. And give me your Venmo. So I can uh, pay you that gas sure money. Paul Ray Superfly on Instagram. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow Paul That's Ray me. right now. What's your Venmo? Venmo, same thing. Paul. Everybody send Paul money. Paul Ray Superfly. Paul Ray. R A Y. I like Paul. it. Paul Ray Superfly. I'll link right. everybody's stuff down below, except for not uh, overboards thing, but I'll link his yeah. Twitter, and then you can find his stuff through there. Fun it. All right, guys, it's been the Leo and Danny Show. And uh, check out Leo and Friends, the Patreon pod on the oh, Leo and Danny man. Show Patreon. Check it's uh, new video. And check oh, out yeah, Dino's, Dino's new vid. New video. Oh, no. Uh, we'll go watch Dino's new vid. We'll discuss it um, very soon on Leo and Friends and here. 
probably here next week. Thank you, Overboard, once again. And uh, thanks, Paul Ray. Your tryout went pretty well, man. You killed nice. it. I'm following yeah. you, too, Thank now, you guys. Paul, you fucker. Thank you. Good job, Paul. I'm happy and, to be here. Uh, hell yeah, man. And follow Paul. Goodbye, everyone.